This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Shock jocks. Opie and Anthony. 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 Opie and Anthony. Uh, we're back with the Opie and Anthony show on this Whip 'Em Out Wednesday. Hi. Louis C.K. sitting down, joining the program today. Uh, in the office, we were talking about the O.J. thing. Yes. Good old O.J. We, we all got emails last night that uh, we thought we had an exclusive. <laughs> we're so lame, Louis, when it comes to exclusives with this program. <laughs> we get these emails like, hey, man, we got a copy of that uh, O.J. book that wasn't released. And uh, these emails are written in such a way that we're thinking, oh, my God, we finally could scoop the world. Because it said uh, not we, not confirmed right, but, right. Uh, if it's the actual uh, book, but um, but it, it looks like it. It looks like something. Oh, wow, we're getting exclusive. It was uh, emailed to me in a PDF document. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, okay, let me open this up and check it out. And we're thinking that there's a hardcore fan deep within the publishing community that's yeah. saying, ah, what the hell, I'll give you guys this this little radio nugget. And so we got a little excited. We're thinking, okay, we'll be the uh, guys that break the whole OJ thing. Uh, read some uh, excerpts today. And uh, we open up the paper. It's like on page three. It's, it's on. It's all over the place. It's all the headline the news. of every news yeah. channel. Everyone's got it. We're not yeah. breaking news no. here. We like, just want to have a scoop one time in our lousy yeah. careers. It's like trying to get the scoop on 9-11. <laughs> right. Yeah, we just. Yeah. Uh, Guess what happened? Oh, now it's everywhere. Yeah, everyone knows about it. <laughs> We don't get the scoop on anything. But Anthony ended up reading a lot of it. Yeah. Last night, right? So because I thought it was like I thought that was all there was going to be was my little copy on the computer screen. Right. So I'm sitting there, my eyes are bleeding trying to read oh. something off the computer. If you're just checking out videos or reading some email on a computer, that's one thing. No. The whole thing with reading long form stuff on a computer screen painful. is painful. They don't have that. My figured out head no. was. Pounding yep. by the time I was done. Because they were font but bigger. Now, huh? Why the font bigger? Shut up. Why not? You can't. Shut up. You, can. you zoom in, you make it bigger. That much. Yeah, it doesn't help. It I don't bigger. know what it is, but it's it, just looking at a, a monitor. It's, it's but now you know how radiation. You, uh, now you know how to murder your wife and the yeah. guy who's returning his sunglasses to her. Yes, exactly. Because well, as OJ said, this isn't what happened. No. But if. If I would have done it, hilarious! Premise. I would have done it this way exactly, <laughs> no, with every minute detail. No, what bothers me about uh, America is why can't this book be released? I don't get uh, why outrage. we have. All right, outrage! I don't get all of a sudden we have to have morals in the publishing community and all that. I mean, yeah, this, as if we is... didn't have a ball with OJ when it happened. I mean, it was uh, a national obsession. Number now one, we're like, hey, let's yep. let the rest in peace. It spawned you know. a new network there, Court TV, was yeah. nothing before the OJ yeah. trial. But people, and uh, uh, the, the the newspapers, every day it was huge in the news. The verdict mm -hmm. it was the most watched thing since like the last episode of MASH. Exactly. It's just huge. I understand uh, making sure he doesn't get paid for it and all that, but why yeah. not get the book out there? Sure. I mean, we all get, followed yeah. the trial if for the, the two that, years that it was on. It should be out there. Yeah. When well, I was, it when is I was now. working at the Chris Rock show, we, I was writing there, and uh, it was, I guess, about um, a year after that mm -hmm. whole mess. And uh, Chris had this idea to do the first interview with OJ, and uh, the idea was going to be this exclusive, okay, now we can ask you, finally, who do you think should have won the MVP for the <laughs> NFL? It's not going to be all football questions. Just football questions. Framed as if this was the big, and OJ was dying to do it, of course. I'm sure. But why well, did it happen? Because we didn't. I guess we didn't want to be the ones to let him back into having fun. Society. Like, we didn't want to be the ones to let him in uh, on a joke. The uh, scarlet murder letter on yeah, him. You don't want to be exactly. the one that kind of gives him any credibility. Yeah. Well, well, Anthony uh, read a lot, and uh, what you yep. were saying in the office was pretty interesting. Oh uh, Well, I skipped through all the crap at the beginning, which is just uh, his relationship. First, it's like it just starts with you know, like a little history on O.J., who cares? Mm -hmm. And then there's the, you know the history of him and Nicole. Everyone knows they had their but it's all beef it's back all and forth. So is he saying, had I won the Heisman? Well, uh, yes, no, no. no, it's, no, it's not so. It's not all hypothetical. No. Like it's 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 all fact. And then, <laughs> and then you know just the part where he stabs them multiple times is hypothetical. Because <laughs> then everything after that right. is the what happened. He couldn't so make it. What happened? Picks up with now here. Yeah, he couldn't make it more clear that uh, that he's about to tell you the truth because he <laughs> yes. starts by. I given you his whole uh, it's his history his whole life and then, and then he then gives, I, I played yeah. for USC and then uh, he did he, gave, he he told about his relationship with he, he, he talked about his relationship with him and his father uh, like that whole thing his upbringing 
And then uh, it gets to the the evening in question, I think, was the chapter. But that really is funny, you know. It's mm. like, look, I know people are going to think that I'm just making this up to have a little uh, fun or whatever, yeah. keep my name out there. <laughs> no, I'm going to give my whole All the life facts. history, where I was born, where I yep. was raised, where it's I went to high school. biography. <laughs> yeah. One chapter that has to have just changed language. One thing that's, uh, you know, just if I did do it, this is how I would have done it. <laughs> right, after all the... All the facts that he just gave. And it doesn't even work. I'm saying that my father and I were a little distant. <laughs> right, had right. Been, here's how it yes. would have manifested itself. Yes. If I would have played for Buffalo, <laughs> I would have. it would have been like this. We're using a fake team name like they used to do in the 70s, like the Dallas Colts. <laughs> yeah, <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Buffalo the Williams Knights he played thing. for. <laughs> <laughs> the Denver Balloons. <laughs> it's really too bad that this book isn't going to see the light of day. Well, now it's going to see the light Everyone of day. Everyone will see it. it is this the whole book that is now out there in? Ah, uh, yeah. This is yep. the whole book? Yep. Yep. All right, so book. now you can read it for free. This, yeah. That's actually better, though. This is uh -huh. actually a very small book. So he's not making a... <laughs> the book's two pages? This is just one page oh, of the... Uh, oh, 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 he's right. not making the, uh, a profit book. from it this way. But what's the... Pro I don't well, know why they just... publish it. Mein Kampf is published. They make their and... memoirs. Problem? <laughs> no, that's yeah. See, this is about a black guy killing a white woman. Right. You're, oh, you're way to put it in perspective, Lou. <laughs> you know, maybe if OJ had a funny little mustache, people would <laughs> yeah. give him a little more. Uh, so, oh my God, but this is all Nicole came. Nicole came at me swinging. Yeah. This is not put in any. It doesn't say had she come at me swinging. No, it no, says, no. It's not put in the so way. He just puts a disclaimer at the beginning of the pair of the thing and says, "I made it up." Look, I'm gonna do this. Uh, oh my God! He goes, Nicole came at me swinging. Get the f out of here. She said, "This is my house, and I can do what I want. Not in front of my kids. You can't. F you. No. F you. I gave you everything you could ask for, and you f it all up." She came at me like a banshee, all arms and legs flailing. I ducked and she lost her balance and fell against the stoop. She fell hard on her right side. I could hear the back of her head hitting the ground and lay there for a moment. She lay there not moving. Can I ask a, a quick question here? Yes. In the autopsies, did they uh, mention that she had a, a head injury? Uh, yeah, it was almost off. Well, no, that we was know the that. Injury. We know that, but I mean, was there bruising in the back of her <laughs> that, head from the fall? That would be an interesting thing to look at. Was to the, see if the, there was this guy, was that severed head damaged? Yeah, <laughs> right. What was it dropped the head? before <laughs> or after it was removed from her body? <laughs> yeah. Good point. Good point. I, I it's believe... like when you said that you're turning an iPod for a warranty. Was there water damage? Before <laughs> yeah. she... <laughs> they were probably arguing, and he probably punched her in the face. Like he didn't flail and yeah. trip. He probably yeah, punched no. her in the face. Also, well, here's tired. the worst part: is he's getting his side of the argument in here. Like yeah, he's saying, yeah. look, yeah. Uh, folks, the real message of this is: hey, I gave her everything she wanted. If anyone doesn't see this bitch deserves. It. That's pretty much what he's saying. He's getting his side out. He's trying to sway uh, us. Well, without without actually reading verbatim, because he he talks a lot. Because uh, at this Who's point, Charlie. Then exactly. Just, exactly. Well, okay. He had the, the North Vietnamese with him. <laughs> yeah. oh, OJ, you get out of here. <laughs> the police are coming, OJ. I said we read this. Let's go murder again. Because people haven't. Uh, they're not gonna search this out. Yeah. Let, let me give you the basic like outline though, because with some of these things taken out of context, okay, uh, you might not understand what what they are. Um, OJ. Goes over at uh, Nicole's house to um, see his kids uh, a a a earlier in the day. They go to a recital. They all come back. You remember this? This was all fact. Um, they come back. Now, this guy, Charlie, there's some guy that shows up in this book. His name is Charlie. He's apparently some acquaintance of OJ's that OJ met at some dinner party. Al Callings? I got my theories on who Charlie is. Right, so he's ahead, making up a guy. Yeah, yeah. Charlie. This is the other guy oh that, that saw this whole thing. So he's basically admitting there was another guy there. He's saying the there's another guy there, but I'm not sure of that either. There's a couple of options or here. Or it might be two people in his head. Y yeah. I'm, right, sorry, I'm thinking ahead, Charlie yeah. could be good OJ. Charlie is the side. OJ, at some point in this <laughs> action, had a mental break. Right now he he, he goes he goes to the house. Oh my God, that's because Charlie Charlie and I'm yeah. doing the parentheses the quotation marks parentheses <laughs> parentheses quotation mark thing. Yeah. Charlie went up to OJ and told him OJ I got some bad news. 
Uh, OJ said what? He said, uh, Nicole has been out doing drugs with, mm. uh, her friends, getting into some kinky scenes and everything like that. Mm. And OJ goes, why the F are you telling me this? He goes, look, I just, I, I know about it. I figured I, I'd tell you. So he goes, he like thanked Charlie and goes, I want to go over there right now and see what that bitch is doing. So him and Charlie go over to, uh, uh, Nicole's house and, uh, OJ at some point wants to see what she's doing, so he puts his little wool cap on and, and, and gloves and walks out with a big knife that he had underneath his seat. Mm. And at this point, Charlie says to him, OJ, give me that knife. You're not going in there with that knife. Mm. This is what leads me to believe this is where OJ starts breaking into two people. This was him in his car by himself. Right. Looking at the knife. Thinking like and the little Chinese man inside of him said, "Oh, I don't know, bring a knife." Okay. That will never make the air. By the way, <laughs> no, we are oh, not really? allowed. Oh my goodness. to make any voices. I'm sorry, words I, hurt, I Louis. Have multiple, words I know. hurt. I didn't know. Yeah, I, I know. Have Believe Shame me. Shame on you, Louis. Oh, okay. Okay. Believe me, there was nobody. Could, that, okay. When the mics are off, let's go to town on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. Not your fault. So no, believe me, it's not. So uh, uh, OJ uh, goes and 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 he gives the knife to Charlie. Mm. Now this to me is uh, the sane OJ now has possession of the knife, and he's not going to do anything with it because it's Charlie. Well, OJ starts talking to Nicole. Uh, uh, or, or talking to uh, Goldman, who pulls up with the sunglasses and saying, "Who the f are you? What are you doing here?" Uh, and giving him a lot of crap. And then Nicole comes out because she hears the noise. And when he sees her, Nicole all dressed up, there's candles burning in her place. Or he assumes something's going on, and that's why Ron Goldman's coming over. Um, he starts thinking back to the whole day, he says. Like going to the recital, this, that, the other thing. He like flashes back to, through that throughout the day. And then he, when he comes up to the point he was at during that day, which is standing there, he's got the knife in his hand. And he's covered in blood, and Ron Goldman is dead, and Nicole is laying on the ground dead, and Charlie's going, OJ, we got to get the F out of here. Yeah. Charlie, his acquaintance he met at a dinner party, who's now uh, uh, a murder uh, accomplice. Yeah. You know what I'm wondering is if, OJ, if Nicole or Ron, say, do they say anything to Charlie in the story? Do they react to him? No. no cause Charlie, he's Durden, invisible. Charlie Durden uh, was not spoken to. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's invisible. He's invisible. You're he's right. My invisible friend, Charlie. Yeah. So the, the only thing I have about it, that, that it's not wow. this, like OJ suffered this break at that point. I think that's exactly what happened. That's why he was so able to distance himself from the actual murder yeah. and actually convince himself that he didn't do it because there was this Charlie character yeah. who is who is the rational OJ yeah. and then OJ who was the irrational murdering OJ yeah. and for that moment he turned into the other guy where Charlie was trying to stop him from doing this yeah so they they uh, OJ strips down to his underwear and socks mm. and takes his clothing rolls it up rolls the knife up in it they drive the Bronco him and Charlie back to Rockingham then they take, uh, he takes the, uh, bundled up bloody clothing and the met weapon, gives it to Charlie and says, take this and get rid of it. I, I want this gone forever. Mm, so, oh, and, wow. and no one knows who this Charlie is or where this stuff ever ended up. I didn't want to, I didn't want to make up stuff like this. This is all made up. But I didn't want to make up where the weapon ended up. <laughs> yeah, that's just I didn't want to, like, make it up. <laughs> because the police might start digging there and find a weapon. <laughs> so he gives Who it to knows? Charlie. And Charlie, then he gives uh, instructions to Charlie. He goes, look, the limo pulled up. When they pulled up to Rockingham, they saw the limo pulling in. And OJ goes, oh, crap, the limo's here. We got to pull around the side. He goes, I'm going to sneak in. You take this stuff, get rid of it. Later on, when the limo pulls out, you pull the Bronco into the driveway, hit the gate, and run out before the gate shuts. And then I'll just say it was parked there the whole night. Oh, my God. So that's what he did. And you think uh, the blood spot might have been from Charlie, quote unquote, hitting the? Uh... From from it could have been Charlie. It could have been this. Well, apparently though, uh, uh, Charlie left it out on the street uh, because it was parked slightly askew. If you remember, the Bronco wasn't parked right. And then the cops, when they questioned OJ about it, they said, "Well, it looked like you were in a rush." And they asked him the, all the questioning. Were you in a rush packing up? He goes, "Well, you know, I kind of you know want to pack all my stuff." But he didn't say he was in a rush until he talked about. The carving sideways, and then OJ was in a big rush. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, the limo was was parked there. He told Charlie to get rid of everything. 
uh, he went around the side by Cato's room, hit the air conditioner. He said, when, when I was running into the house, I banged into the air conditioner, almost fell down. Uh, he went inside. The limo guy was calling, but he assumed uh, when he turned on his bedroom light that the limo guy would see that and assume he was in the shower, so he didn't answer the phone, mm -hmm. making it seem like he had been there longer than he was. He knew the limo guy would call again. He called when he got out of the shower. Uh, O.J. said he'd be down in a few minutes, went down, took the limo to um, Chicago, uh, and uh, they called him from Chicago and uh, told him his wife was murdered, dead. Oh, and that's when he threw the glass and cut his finger. But now they can't... They can't. He couldn't remember if he had cut his finger beforehand and gotten blood because now the cops are questioning him, saying, "O.J., we got a problem here." And O.J. goes, "Uh huh." And uh, they said, w "We found blood in in your Bronco." He goes, "Well, I may have cut myself on a hanger as I was packing, or mm, you know, I golf a lot." He goes, "I might have cut myself and opened it up while I was running around." Mm. Uh, but but I think I did it that night. Like he, his story, if you read. I, I, another good part is not only the murder part with Charlie, but the questioning, because it's the actual questioning <laughs> that was done part. by the two cops uh, and O.J. It's the That's actual crazy. questioning. Now, if it would have happened like this, it would have... Oh, it did. Yes. This is the <laughs> real part, questioning. This part is what happened. And you find, you find the inconsistencies. He doesn't know. That's the crazy part is when he's being asked about it. It's like such a mind-boggling layers of reality. Because then he's going in the past to him questioning, being questioned yeah. about something that he's saying he made up. He didn't now. do. But as he's like, being so questioned. Now it's like, had, so did he know that he was referring to the later story he was going to had made up? And it made up. Yeah, he's, he's, he had this all made up beforehand. Or something. Because as uh, like Van Adder's questioning him, he's saying to himself. And it's in this book, he said, during that questioning, I'm saying to myself, I just have to make them believe this. Yeah. That I'm a hundred percent. He goes. I told them uh, uh, when I when I went into court. I said I'm one hundred percent innocent, Your Honor. He goes. I just had to make them this believe that scene between the scene that he's created right. that doesn't exist supposedly in his mind that he's dropped in between two realities. Yeah. So those two realities are past. But that thing is present because he just made it up. Because he made it up. Oh, it, make it makes no sense no, that he had made this it's up. A mess. See, Charlie. Yeah, is the the, the other Charlie. guy? Or yeah, Charlie find Charlie. Could be Alec. Yeah, we saw Al Cowling. Yeah. I think it could be Al Cowling's. Maybe it was Charlie. Uh, he went there with the uh, purpose of killing these, uh, at least his wife. It's weird, by the way. They never even convicted him of just a high speed chase. So uh, you know, nothing. Uh, not even like a with a ticket gun and and, and yeah. Well, let's uh, let's read this before the break. So. Yeah. So then this is the actual murder, in yeah. OJ's words, yeah. if it happened? If it happened, but uh, it didn't. She came at me like a banshee, arms and legs flailing. I could hear the back of her head, yeah, hit the ground when he pushed her over. Uh, she lay there a moment, not moving. Jesus Christ, OJ, let's get the out of here, uh, Charlie said, his voice cracking. I looked over at Goldman, uh, and I was fuming. I guess he thought I was going to hit him because he got into his little karate stance. Oh, he's making fun of a guy. I know. Killed. Yeah, exactly. What the f is that, I said. You think you could take me with your karate? Sh he started circling me, bobbing and weaving, and if I hadn't been so f***ing angry, I would have laughed in his face. Oh, my God. This is uh, O.J. talking about Ron guy. Goldman, the dead guy. I'll yeah. Play, but, yeah, but that's exactly what happened. Because, you know, Ron Goldman probably didn't bring... I think... I always thought Ron Goldman was banger. Probably. I think a lot of people yeah. thought that, and he walked over, and they were just, yeah. you know, come on. Uh, O.J., come on. It was Charlie again pleading. Nicole moaned, regaining consciousness. She stirred on the ground and opened her eyes and looked at me, but it didn't... Uh, but it didn't seem like anything was registering. Uh, Charlie walked over and planted himself in front of me, blocking my view. We are done here, man. Let's go. See, Charlie's constantly trying to get him out of here. Blocking my view. I noticed the knife in Charlie's hand. What? And in one deft move, I remember my right glove. I removed my right glove and snatched it up. We're not going anywhere, I said, turning to face Goldman. Goldman was still circling me, bobbing and weaving, but I didn't feel like laughing anymore. You think you're tough? M.F., <laughs> I said. I could hear Charlie just behind me saying something, urging me to get the <laughs> out of there. And at one point, he even reached for me and tried to drag me away, but I shook him off hard and moved toward Goldman. Okay, M.F., I said. <laughs> Show me how tough you are. 
Then something went horribly wrong, and I know what happened, but I can't tell you exactly how. Even though this, none of this actually happened. Right. right. If I did it, I still wouldn't remember I how still I would know. I was still... My memory would probably be foggy, even though it's all... <laughs> it would be all foggy. You know what this is? He's not brave enough because he doesn't know the law. To yes. The, to yeah. The... <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he's like, right. somebody could break precedent. Right. He's say, thinking, well... If a dude writes a book, <laughs> right. yeah. you get to convict Like there's a uh, little known law or something. Something, so yeah. he's like, oh, or it's one not that he's, jeopardy it's like, it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's got to, he's got to stop right there because he's not sure of the law. Go yeah, ahead. I don't know how. Uh, I was still standing in the Coles courtyard, of course, but uh, for a few moments I couldn't remember how I'd gotten there, when I'd arrived, or even why I was there. Then it came back to me very slowly: the recital with little Sydney up on stage dancing, her little heart out, <laughs> Nicole with her little heart out on the sidewalk. Uh, chipping balls in my neighbor's yard. Paula angry, not answering her phone. Charlie stop, uh, stopping by my house to tell me some more ugly, uh, crap about Nicole's behavior. Uh, then what? The short, quick drive from Rockingham to the Bundy condo. And now, now I was standing in Nicole's courtyard in the dark, listening to the loud, rhythmic, accelerating beat of my own heart. I put my left hand on to my heart and felt my uh, shirt uh, was strangely wet. I looked down at myself for several moments. I couldn't get my mind around what I was seeing. The whole front of me was covered in blood, but I didn't. It didn't compute. Is this really blood? I wondered. And whose blood is it? Is it mine? Am I hurt? Wow. I was more confused than ever. What the hell was happening here? Then I remembered that Goldman guy coming through the back gate with Judith's glasses. And I remember hollering at him and remember how the shouts had brought Nicole to the door. Nicole, Jesus. I looked down and saw her uh, on the ground in front of me, curled up in the fetal position at the base of the stairs, not moving. Goldman was a few feet away, slumped uh, against the bars of the fence. He wasn't moving either. Both he and Nicole were lying in giant pools of blood. I had never seen so much blood in my life. You know, if it happened. If I had seen blood, yeah. I had never seen so much. <laughs> yeah. You think he blacked out? In my real life, I never saw as much blood as I saw in this thing that never happened. Yeah. That never happened. You think he went into like this blood rage? Bl he just like grabbed a knife well, and just started hacking? There's two things. Yeah. He either blacked out and really doesn't remember how he, quote, killed them. Yeah. Or he doesn't want to, uh, you know, officially tell us that part. Right. He's scared of the law. He yeah. would have, I, I think he blacked out because wouldn't he have made up something that exonerates him in a weird way? Well, he should. He would have made up facts that they kept running the case, into right? my knife. Yeah, good point. Yeah. That is how you exonerate Charlie yourself. Charlie did it. But he would have Charlie. Facts that it's interesting how Charlie like disappears from time to time. In the yeah, story. yeah. Charlie just like goes away. Comes and goes. Like the whole time yeah. he was nobody else can butchering see these people. Charlie wasn't wasn't doing anything. We yeah, gotta yeah. take a break, but but I want to get through this before the break. Here. Okay, oh. part two of what would happen. No, no, happened. no, no, no. Just uh, finish up. <laughs> finish this up. Uh, yeah. Uh, what the what the <laughs> happened here? Uh, who had done this and why and where the <laughs> was I when this went down I was like part of my life was missing there was like some weird gap in my existence but how could that be I was standing right there that was me right I looked down again at myself and uh, the blood so close I noticed I had a knife in my hand the knife was covered with blood as were my hands wrist and half of my right form forearm uh, that didn't compute either I wondered how all that blood had gotten all over the knife and again asked myself whose blood it might be when suddenly it all made perfect sense this was just a bad dream a very bad dream at any moment now, I would wake up at my home in my own bed and start going about my day. Then I heard a sound from behind me uh, and turned, startled. Charlie was standing in the shadows a few is. feet away, his mouth hanging open, his uh, breathing short and ragged. He uh, was looking beyond me at the bodies. Charlie, I called out. He didn't answer. <laughs> Charlie, real. still nothing. I went over and stood in front of him and asked him uh, the same question I'd asked myself. Charlie, what the f*** happened here? He looked up and met my eyes, but for several moments it was uh, as if he didn't really see me. Are you listening to me, I said. I asked what happened. Charlie shook his head from side to side, his mouth still hanging open, his breath still short and ragged. And in a voice that was no uh, more he than a frightened you. whisper, he said, Jesus Christ, O.J., what have you done? Me? What the hell was he talking about? I hadn't done anything. I jumped at the sound behind me, a high-pitched, almost human wail. It was Cato the dog circling Nicole's body, his big paws leaving prints in the wet blood. He lifted his snout and let out another wail that sent chills up and down my spine. Let's get the f*** out of here, I said. 
I hurried toward the rear gate and moved through it with Charlie close behind, but I stopped myself before I crossed into the alley. Charlie bumped into me and jumped back startled. What? He said, I didn't answer. I was thinking about the shape I was in. I was thinking of the blood all over my shirt. My pants were sticking to my skin. Even my shoes were covered in uh, blood. Here's the thing. OJ. Yeah, I know. It's a OJ misprint. Either, this thing wasn't like edited. Yeah, he couldn't get an editor to go, OJ, when you murdered your wife, you should have yeah. written blood. Blood, not hood. <laughs> Here's the thing. OJ is either a murderer or an amazingly good writer. Great writer. <laughs> right. If you ever Look read, if you ever read confessions of murders that are like, they're beautifully written. Yeah. There's no fiction right. that is better written than that. Yep. Just like this. Either, so either he is an incredibly, he's like Charles Dickens um, OJ or a murderer. <laughs> right. He's He's either he's either Mickey Splain or, or a Jay disgusting Spillane. murderer. Yeah, I point to disgusting murderer. I'm pretty sure it's that. Where's one? the next novel, yeah, OJ? Exactly. Write a next novel about yeah. something that didn't happen. Yes. Once upon a time, like it's all just <laughs> drivel. Is there more? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. all day. Yeah. Why don't we take a break? We got it's Louis C.K. in the house today, and it's uh, Whip Him Out Wednesday. Yeah. Lots going on. It's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> came up with something years ago. Basically, it says... We come out Wednesday. Big, luscious, juicy ones. Right? Wow. The swinging trivial to unrestrained female anatomy. It's with and out Wednesday. The Obie and Anthony Show. The Obie and Anthony Show. Discussing this OJ thing through the commercials. Yeah, well, me and Louis C.K. have been hashing it over, and we're going out on a limb and saying OJ did it. <laughs> uh, after, after reading all this, yeah. He, he did it. It's riveting. It really is. We are just laughing at the fact that this OJ is not this good. He's not an amazing writer. He's not. This is this is like. This is material from a great author. Yes. Two people tell stories beautifully. Some uh, authors with incredible imaginations and people that really did stuff. Really did <laughs> stuff. simply tell you what happened. Right. O.J. has never, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't know, he's never written a book, has no. he? He's you know, never written fiction. No. You know what? Louis C.K. makes a really good point because uh, it's a little known fact that we're starting to you know, write about our careers and stuff. And it comes so easy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I get. We got oh, 40 or 50 pages done of just, uh, yeah, just stories. We're not really mm -hmm. sure where we're going yet. Oh, but I this could whole thing. rattle out like things that have happened in my life. Yeah. Like a typewriter. I got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like no Even problem. When you tell stories about your dad and your home yeah. life. It's incredibly interesting because you're just telling what really happened because you were there and it happened. I was there, it happened. But if you had to write a story about a family oh, or about what? two guys on a but radio, you know. I couldn't do it. No, that, it would just yeah. be like, and then they got another show. Yeah. That was nice. But that's the point I'm trying to make because I have attempted to do other mm -hmm. writings. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, this is garbage. And you read it, it's like, <laughs> this is <laughs> awful. He jumped into the car and turned the ignition key. Yeah, right. This sounds stupid. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but like, and then, but, but the, if you murdered somebody, that kind of memory is so uh eh, Oh, just yeah. so that well, that the memory of getting in the car and what you felt as you started. It yeah, it's you, compelling. It's really, compelling. it's written in a way that is very compelling because it's coming directly from the mind of the guy that killed these two people, <laughs> <laughs> without a doubt. Yeah, like yes. we wrote about the Voyeur bus. It, it, it came really easy to us, really easy. Yeah, because it happened. You didn't yeah. have to make up stuff. And, yeah, mm -hmm. and try to like over-explain and he's writing the things. Details. That, he's writing things you wouldn't think are interesting. Yes, and like you wouldn't think like me mumbling. Oh my God! Why did you do that? Like you wouldn't yeah. think to write that as an interesting. Fact. Well, that's exactly it. Is that if you were writing about a murder that you didn't commit, then you would just say, "I I cut their throats and uh, threw the knife away and ran off." Right. But the part, the moment, if you really cut somebody's throats, the moment you'd never forget, and that would feel like ten pages long in your head. Right. Is just standing there looking at yourself with blood all over your body when it's over, and knowing that. How, uh, not understanding why or how you did it, and feeling like this is this moment is the moment I'm gonna yeah. live for. He's he's still living that moment. Obviously, that, he's I, already written it. So I think what? that moment. That's probably why you don't get this description of the murder itself. We were yeah. saying during the, the commercial break, if you want the description of the murder, because you're getting this blacked out OJ. Yeah. He like 
One minute he's yelling, the next minute he's standing there covered in blood. If you want what happened in between, go to the trial transcripts, yeah. and, and the forensics will tell you exactly how both of those people were killed, how the knife moved, and how they were uh, standing. They know all of that. That's what everybody already knows. So they know that. But, but what you don't know is how, what it is felt Is what like. it felt like. And, and, and if I could equate it to something, it might seem a little weird, and and like we would do, but but sex itself. Yeah, sure. Uh, take, well, when you and take, I and Jimmy have sex. Yes, all the time. It's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. uh, it take some kind of like kinky sex act you do, or something. Mm -hmm. You're a little drunk and you decide to shave stuff off, or or you do something <laughs> that's really like a lot of fun, sexually exciting. Mm -hmm. And then once you're done. That's the Once thing. the moment of truth is done and you look around at the bed and there's <laughs> yes, toys on it and like clippings, hair clippings and like just all kinds of crap. And then you go like, oh, God, what a weirdo. <laughs> you know? yes, and, yes. And, and the cleanup part is all degrading. Yes. Like that's the part You're that sticks out in your head. Like, exactly yeah, yeah. Right. You got to wipe things off and <laughs> right. put them it's away. And, and that's the part that's like, ugh. Kind of hogging dust <laughs> yeah. in the corner. Oh, God, what did I because do? Why, right. why speculate? Let's just, let's, let's just <laughs> stop the speculation. Yeah. When you're rinsing your mouth 30 times with hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> 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 Say that, that why dominatrix puts on her clothes. Say it, it oh, seemed like God. a good idea. It's a great time. idea at the time. But yeah. he was caught up in that that rage, that sexual moment. Yeah. But this and is, then the aftermath is when you look around and go, "Oh my God, what happened?" And that's the part that's like, no, that's what like me and Nick DiPaolo were talking about sex on the road when you're on the road doing stand up and when you meet somebody and have sex with them. The moment that we describe the juicy moment that is the best part. <laughs> Is that metallic sound of the hotel room door clicking closed <laughs> when she leaves? <laughs> like a kink, and you're like, yes! <laughs> room service, TV, shower. Mission accomplished. Yes, get her out. <laughs> That's the moment you don't like, ooh, then she did this, that. You don't know yeah. that. You don't yeah, care about what it. you did to your your genitalia. The getaway, but the escape. The end. Here's the deal with the OJ book too. I mean, if he's gonna write like this, uh, if I did it type of thing, yeah, and he didn't really do it, he would describe the murder in detail because that would yeah. have been the juicy stuff. Yes, yeah. To if get to that was, point, yes. and then all of a sudden, I'm covered with blood. You wouldn't do that if you were trying to hook people into reading your book. Exactly you would right. actually come up with everything. So it, it leads me to believe once again that he he either blacked out. Or he was scared of the law. Maybe no, I don't. I wasn't he, sure if this could, you know, send I him think down it's a, a road. little of both. I, I think don't think he's scared of the law. So then he had to have blacked out. I think he knows he scared, did it, but he blacked out. He's scared to absolutely say I did this. Right. He's yeah. scared of that because, believe it or not, there's still public that accept him. Right. That, that, you know, don't think he did it, that, that uh, let him into their restaurants and yeah. treat him like the star that he was beforehand, yeah. and he loves that lifestyle. You don't know who they are. They uh, <laughs> Right, the Jews. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Those apologetic Jews. <laughs> they, That's right. But they don't, uh, they, 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 he doesn't want to come out and say it. Also, I think to get descriptive about exactly what he did, if it doesn't, uh, coincide with the actual forensics, it takes away the credibility yeah. of the rest of his That's story, true. which seems odd. Yeah. You would think you would want to not have the credibility right. that I right. killed these people, right. but... Uh, yeah. go, sorry, go ahead. Because I have a question. Yeah, it just it, seems like he would want to keep everything consistent with the yeah. trial and everything that happened. But you were the, you're the one that read uh, a lot of this last night. Do you think he blacked out during the murder? No. I don't think he blacked out. I you think, just think he's holding back. Like I think he's one of those people that can get into that rage where, as you're doing it, y y you don't care. And then yeah. the second you're done, you go, That's how you oh, get it Christ. Done. That's, how That's you do a, it. Like normal people, you, you punch a wall when you're mad. You don't want to punch a friggin' brick wall. It's going to hurt your hand, dummy. Yeah. But you do it anyway, and then afterwards you go, "Why the hell did I do that?" Mm -hmm. That's what. That's I that think he times a happened. billion. I think I he remembers. What I think he remembers. I think he wants people to know what this felt like, so they can sympathize, so they can put themselves in the in it and go, "Wow, you know." Without the barbaric part where you yeah. hit him again, he's yeah. just not. He wasn't. Didn't go into Tasmanian devil spinning and just cutting people apart. No, he did there were there were yeah. like slitting of throats. He says deftly. He 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 actually brags about I, how deft he was. I, and take take. I took off the glove and grabbed the, the glove, knife. and then I don't know what happened. And then <laughs> I don't know. 
know <laughs> what happened. Well, I, I can thought tell back. You, I nailed that maneuver. That karate that awesome. thing is interesting. That's it's really interesting. That to me is the interesting part of it. Is the karate that pissed stand. him off. Like I'll bet you that stupid Goldman thought he could kick OJ's. Ass. He's like, gonna like imagine that rage. in your head. I think, yeah. How do you like? I'm that gonna make up OJ. a whole story right. that didn't happen, and just for the heck of it, I'm gonna create that this, this guy karate did karate guy. and it annoyed me. Oh, and how it about annoys this? Because how dare you think your karate can beat the OJ? Yeah. But, but you could uh, see if that was real. Was he taking karate lessons? He probably was. If OJ yeah. put it in the book. Did uh? Here's the well, thing. Well, if he, did, did, he punched the was call that in the out? face, he probably punched the call in the face. Yeah. And then the guy jumped into a karate stance. And he just like you gotta go. That's, yeah. He probably yeah. punched her. He probably didn't start stabbing her. If you if you think somebody was having sex with your wife and you punch your wife, I don't know, stop me when you stop relating to it. I know. And then a guy put does a karate stance. It's like, oh, get out. You're gonna I, go. Hey, excuse doing? me. Yeah, you know, you're, you're I, gone. You're not going to be banging her this evening. Yeah, I'm going to be killing you. That's pretty much what OJ <laughs> exactly. said. Exactly. Because when he showed up. Um, apparently there were candles lit inside her condo, and she was wearing uh, this like uh, little red number, I guess, or that white thing, whatever she was wearing. Mm. It was red afterwards, <laughs> but uh, that's for sure. Did he pay for that but, condo? Uh, he paid for everything. And some young pretty boy who's gonna f your hot wife in your place where your kids are. That, I'm not. Yeah. He's certainly not right. But definitely men could react that That's way. Gotta That's be what happened. Yeah. It was oh. just well, you know what it was also it was months of stories that he had heard about her driving around and the cars that he bought with these guys and stuff. That so so he was enraged. Uh, regardless, some people can just blow that That's off and go thing. whatever. He's, he's not. That's what. That's what makes this definitely a confession is that if he hadn't done it, it would have been how I did it technically. Just hey, let's have some yeah. Fun. Here's a how to. Mm -hmm. But. He, what he's saying is this murder this for is dummies why? by OJ with a yellow cover. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is this is why and this is how I, this is how it felt. Yeah, those are things you can't That's the feeling. make up. How does OJ so know how yeah. someone feels standing there yeah. after they've butchered two mm -hmm. people in pools of blood and know that feeling of maybe that that. <laughs> coming back to reality exactly. like you're in this fog of just this blood lust thing going on and then you come back from it how does he know that happens and why There's would no you way. speculate about and that? why is that the thing you'd write about right why would you speculate saying, about that ah, i stabbed her yeah if you had been tried falsely of killing someone you loved and all of a sudden you're acquitted and the whole country thinks right. you're still good. Why would you engage exactly. in this? Exactly. Yeah. Why would you take yourself? realities? Taking realities in your life and, and meshing those into a reason to kill somebody. Right. Yeah. That's the thing that is psychotic. Yep. And would be, again, genius writing if it was Genius. True. It's like, let's take a guy who's innocent of murder and take real things in his life. Yeah. yeah. And, and turn them into reasons to kill somebody he didn't kill. Yeah. And really, like, make it palatably real that you killed him and how it felt. Yeah. And then ease back into the reality, into reality of this innocent man trying to come up with things wow. with, with fake. I was in Chicago. Yes. I cut my finger on a shot glass that I threw when I heard she was murdered but by me. weird about it being interrogated, <laughs> even though none of it ha Oh, God. Right. Where is this so book? It's yeah. so Why odd. Stop this book. It I want to read it. The whole That's thing. what amazed me. They wouldn't allow this book to be published. The entire book's available and now. Not only that, online. people got fired because of this yep. book. Judith Regan? Yep. Yeah, Judith got fired, right? Well, this Start is odd because now people are questioning, uh, uh, w were there two people at the scene, OJ and this Charlie guy, or was Charlie somebody else? But there wasn't any physical evidence of any other people yeah, at not, that location. But why not this? Charlie was just standing there. Yeah. On the sidewalk. All right. How about this line? This how about this line? Uh, as they were walking away, when we when we last left you, O.J. had just murdered two people. <laughs> he was walking down the sidewalk, escaping the scene with his friend Charlie. Stop. Stop. Uh, I turned and looked behind me. Here it is. Behind me, beyond Charlie, mm. and saw a track of bloody telltale prints. Now remember, his shoes had left just a trail of blood. We're talking. Pools of blood. If you've yeah. seen these murder scene pictures, they are gruesome. Yeah, the electric pools slide of blood. Of pancreas. <laughs> exactly. Just <laughs> horrific scenes of carnage. And now he l turned to look behind him and looked beyond Charlie, who's walking behind him. 
and Charlie didn't muss up any of the blood prints that right. O.J. was walking. Well, like, I that, mean, that, come that, on. That can be explained. If you're Charlie and you're, you didn't go over there to murder people and you see your friend, like, losing his mind, killing these people, butchering them to death, and now you're leaving with O.J., you're going to be careful where you're walking. Yeah, you can't. It's dark. I'm There's just, blood everywhere. O.J.'s leaving trails like of it. So you're, you're thinking that he he should have stepped in one of O.J.'s prints on the, the way out? Absolutely. No way. There I would, would be I, some I, evidence that that guy was at a scene. You cannot be at... At that well, scene without also, something on you. Didn't he say he just met him at a party or something? Yeah, it was like you, a you, casual you meet at a party who will die with that secret. Right. Who will dump clothes for, who had who held evidence. Held the clothes. I I was saying and wouldn't just go right to the police. Exactly. I'm afraid of OJ. Simpson. That is. Uh, 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 I barely you, know the guy. Charlie, take this and just get rid of it. Okay, I'm going to deposit it at the police department. And OJ, I'm watch yeah. this happen in the whole country for the next year. I would just say, be yesing OJ to death. Yeah. And then the second find I left, cop. find a <laughs> cop and go, look, O.J. just murdered these two people. Yeah. Here's the evidence you'll need. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I told him about uh, Nicole, yeah. well, and he went wild. I'm yeah. a witness to it. I'm willing to testify. Well, yes. I, obviously, Charlie's protecting possibly Al Cow Cowling, so it's like throw everyone off the trail. Like, no, it's I, a guy that I met at a mm -hmm. dinner party, right. or it's the other person who lives inside my head. Don't you but think... But I can see that Charlie can leave the scene without uh, leaving any evidence. No I don't think Charlie effing would think way. Because Charlie's he was fine. Not, you didn't do anything wrong. You just watched I kill his wife. You're walking innocently, like you're in shock that a guy. You're not thinking of evidence protection because you didn't commit a but crime. But Charlie wasn't at the uh, the epicenter of the murder scene. How do you, what, what about, about this? What if took the knife from Charlie to kill these people? Yeah, what's Charlie yeah, doing? I just don't know how and Charlie is. Like hey, man, let's say Aunt and I are in this situation. Uh -huh. Aunt Charlie Charlie didn't get and Aunt grabs a knife from me because he wants to go do some horrific thing. I'm backing up. I'm not moving forward mm -hmm. uh, closer to well, what well, uh, to the action. have to exit the same way. Well, yeah, how sure. about the first blast he takes into someone's chest with the knife? You're not going to... Like, go, oh, my God, what the hell happened? Either run away or try to get O.J. off the guy. Or you're, Charlie two stood people, there two people, and watched him yeah. butcher two people, slit their throats and everything. And Charlie just stood there. It, Might as, have been too as, late. As the dinner party acquaintance. This is this is where the fact that, that he's not... That is a starstruck mother effer yeah. if he's going to stand there just to be with O.J. <laughs> this right. is where the fact that he's not... And then again, another amazing layer to the fiction. Right. That inside this completely true story, he has put a fake man who doesn't exist. A fake guy. Right. And you can tell because if you ever write, the hard thing is called the keeping balls in the air. Uh -huh. Keeping a bunch of fires lit. Right. The people disappear if you don't keep mentioning them. Yeah. And like that's what just, happens to Charlie. You have to, and so Charlie keeps... Charlie Charlie is the part of O.J. that didn't want to kill those when people that night. When you write fiction and when you write movies, you have to make sure people talk to each other so they know each other exists. Just little right. things that other people don't notice right. in order to make people real in a story. You have to make mm -hmm. sure that everyone interacts with them and that they are mentioned often enough to not be forgotten. Yep. He doesn't do that. It's the one no. thing he doesn't do well in this story. That's in this completely story. true. Well, hopefully on the next murder <laughs> that he writes about, he'll uh, do well. He'll... Charlie is the last bit of sanity O.J. had that night that yep. was trying to get him himself out of the situation oh, he kept man. telling him leave OJ leave let's go he had the knife at one point when Charlie had the knife it was safe how do you take how do you definitely take off a glove and take a knife from someone? and take a knife from, from someone who's trying to keep it away from you yeah yeah, yeah. unless they're holding it you need an assistant right <laughs> yeah. hold it your knife well, mr. Simpson yes. well, well let's read through knife. this Yep. Let's read through this page because then we're going to move on to other things. We're, right. we're late for another break, uh, believe it or not. All right. Uh, he turned by way too fast. Why look. the name Charlie? Why not some really interesting name like Kensington? <laughs> <laughs> I look beyond Kensington. Uh, there was a track of uh, blood, uh, bloody telltale prints. Uh, I've got to get rid of these effing clothes, I said. Without even thinking about it, I kicked off my shoes and began to strip. I took off my pants, shirt, dropped the knife and shoes into the center of the pile right and wrapped the, the whole thing. Scene. Right. <laughs> yeah, at wow. the murder scene. He uh, dropped the whole thing in, uh, in the middle of the clothes, r wrapped it up into a tight bundle. I left my socks on, though. I don't know why, but I didn't see blood on them. The little details are great that O.J., the fiction writer, oh. comes up with. So I had no reason to remove them. As I stood with the bundle grasped in my left hand, I realized that I left my keys and wallet in the pants. Mm. I felt... Uh, to a, a crouch and dug for them and noticed that my hands were shaking. Charlie stood there all yes, the while mumbling. That's where he cut his hands. Yeah, could have. Where? 
Uh, when he, the, the knife was in amongst his clothes, and he dug in there to get he his... He dug in to get his, his uh, keys and wallet, and wallet maybe. He hands, and oh he cut his finger. Oh, my God. Because when he slugged... Uh, That's why he doesn't remember, because he cut it in, he just cut it in there. His hands were shaking. Could have been. That's how you cut your finger and not know. That's the only way you cut your finger, and you don't... He actually didn't remember. And they found it. dripping blood, yep. drops of blood at his house that yep. came from his wounded finger yes so it was a recent wound it was nobody something. cuts their finger that is dripping blood without knowing how unless you just like, killed two people yourself. and unless you're you in shock people. so it goes <laughs> that's for what his... he should have said to the cops how am i supposed to know where i cut my f i just killed two I people killed man two people. so if he goes for his wallet and his keys and he cuts his hand <laughs> might have yeah. cut his hand there interesting yeah, during the murder charlie yeah. stood there all the while mumbling jesus christ oj jesus christ he just kept repeating himself like he'd lost his goddamn mind or something Ooh. so charlie lost his mind Poor at that charlie. point Poor Charlie. But OJ was fine. Will you shut the F up? I snapped. I found my keys in my wallet and rewrapped the bundle. Then I stood there and hurried across the dark alley. Uh, then I stood up and hurried across the dark alley. Charlie followed, still mumbling. I got behind the wheel and Charlie climbed into the passenger seat. Jesus Christ, OJ, he said. Jesus Christ, will you shut the F up? Charlie recoiled, startled, and shut up. I started the Bronco and pulled out. The tires squealing and raced through the curved alley toward Montana Avenue. When I reached the end of the alley, I made a left on Montana, immediate right at the corner onto a Gretna Green. Uh, San Vincent uh, was a block away. I made a left there. It's, it's the OJ navigation system. I, I turned on K-Rock. Uh, I took it all the way to Bristol. <laughs> Too much detail. Then hung a right on Sunset and made a left there toward home. I glanced at Charlie. He was hunched over his uh, elbows Where? Uh, on his knees, his face buried in his hands. See, again, he doesn't describe Charlie getting in the car. No. Charlie gets in the car magically. Because yeah. He doesn't he exist. Charlie got the passenger seat. He just oh, Charlie was in oh, the passenger does? seat, yeah. yeah. Where, where? Where does he say that? Charlie, Anthony read it. Yeah. Uh, Charlie climbed into the passenger seat. Yeah. yeah, saying, yeah. saying, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Uh, what if happened back there, Charlie? If you looked into that alley, you would have seen one man going, oh, what I do, Jesus Christ. Oh, Char shut, yeah. up. Shut, shut up. up. Shut up. Shut up. He's talking to himself. Yeah. Right, right. That's what you would have seen. Mm. Charlie, he should have called Charlie Kitty Carriol. George Glass. Mr. Pivot. Uh, let's see, Charlie, uh, face buried in his hands. What happened back there, Charlie? I said, Charlie sat up. His cheeks were wet with tears. He shook his head from side to side and shrugged. I uh, thought back to the horrific scene at the courtyard and at all the blood. I've never seen so much blood in my life. It didn't seem possible. It didn't seem real. Charlie? He still didn't answer. But what the hell? This wasn't really happening. There's no Charlie. <laughs> that hadn't uh, been me back there. I'd imagine the whole thing. I was imagining it then. It, uh, in actual fact, I was home in bed, asleep, having one of those crazy crime of passion dreams. One of those crazy I murdered my wife dreams I always have. But I was going to wake up any second now. Yeah, that was it. Only I didn't wake up. We were still on sunset. I passed the light on Burlingham. Uh, I made a sharp right onto Rockingham. Uh, tearing up the winding hill toward the house. As I approached the gate, I saw a limo moving toward Rockingham, uh, the Rockingham gate from Ashford. And remembered uh, I had a flight to catch. I drove past my house and past the limo, and uh, in the side mirror I saw the taillights flare up as uh, it pulled to a stop in front of my gate. The driver had probably been waiting on Ashford out of sight, and I wondered if he'd already called the house. I had no idea what time it was. I looked down at the Broncos clock and saw it was 10.37. Uh, F, I'm supposed to be in that limo in eight minutes. Jeez. So remember, and then again, it's like remembering, feeling like this couldn't possibly have right. happened couldn't when have it happened. didn't actually happen. The further you get it's from insane. the scene, too, you would think he starts that to didn't fake. happen. This is the dovetailing yeah. into, into his the reality yeah. that he's fakely created. Yeah, this isn't. Uh, and then that was wow. his flight. He had a 10:45 pickup for a, a 11:45 flight. He only it, gave himself an hour? It was, it was before 9 11. He's OJ. He runs through airports. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the commercials. And there was a time you could get through uh, security right. like that. Yeah. Got no remember. problem. Yeah. It's not jump like over. I'm a murderer or something. No. Oh. Just remember to jump over that guy tying his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Remember that? Go, OJ, go. <laughs> yeah. well, we can read this all day. There's so much more. Yeah. Maybe, maybe later on in the show we'll get back, uh, back on it. It's, oh, uh, he murdered those people. It's available online. Yeah. Great, great read. It's a great read. Hey, Anthony read all night. I long. highly recommend the fiction writer OJ. Looking <laughs> forward to his really next good. works. All right, we're going to get into some other things after the break. Louis C.K. in studio. Louis, you promoting anything there? Shameless, my new uh, oh, HBO special is coming nice. out on DVD uh, June 26th. Very, so very please cool. buy it.
I think a lot of our listeners okay. will definitely buy that. Okay. Uh, right now, for a random caller, if you're in the New York area, we got a pair of tickets to the premiere of Live Free or Die Hard on June 22nd at Radio City Music Hall. Of course, Bruce Willis is back as John McClane. The only way to live free is to die hard in theaters June 27th. But we got a pair of tickets uh, so you can go to the premiere this Friday. Give us a call, 877-212-5762. Just make sure you can use the tickets because we're being heard all over the country. All right? More with Louis C.K. in just a bit. It's Opie and Anthony. I will do you with them out Wednesday. Wednesday. Hear what everyone else is talking about. ONA Uncut and Live continuing the show on XM Satellite Radio starting at 9 a.m. Eastern. Visit XMRadio.com to subscribe. <laughs> wow, we got bored during the commercials. Yeah, huh? we did a little bit. That's it's Opie and Anthony, Louis C.K. in studio. And, uh, you know, we got the Pal Talk thing happening. And it kind of pissed us off the other day. We're reading in the paper that uh, some station, where are they, Providence? Where are they? Where is 670 the score from? Chicago? Uh, uh, They're out of Chicago? Are you sure? Anyway, it was in the paper that uh, this radio show was going to be using Pal Talk, and they're one of the first radio shows to use Pal Talk. Yeah. Uh, to bring their listeners a little closer to the experience of the radio show. Yeah. And we're like, hello, hello. Everyone knows at this point yeah. we we put uh, Pal Talk on the map. Pal Talk and uh, radio oh, shows. Well, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Why not? Why not admit where you got the idea from? That's all. That's all we're asking yeah. for. Yeah. So uh, we checked out their little Pal Talk room. They had ten people in there today. So well, we had decided to what there. Room raid. Room raid. Yeah. Uh, we told all the people in our room. We got hundreds of people in our room to just go there and uh, yeah, chat with them. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just reading things that are coming up. Uh, most of which I cannot. You suck, bitches. Uh, this room sucks. They are attacking them. So White Sox suck. You, so you can see the guy, too? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, the guy. There he is. With a befuddled look well, on his face. Here's the beauty of radio. This is happening right in front of the guy's it's... face. He, he's not honest enough to, to at least uh, admit that it's happening. <laughs> he's, he's just, just he's... looking down and reading up stupid box scores, making him believe he doesn't see what's going on right now. <laughs> this is what radio is all about right here. Frunkus. Douches like this. A lot of frunkus is coming through. Calling him a gravy leg. <laughs> but he's just sitting there. Uh, gravy leg. Uh, uh, Bob, gravy leg. Uh, Barry Bonds didn't hit a homer last night. <laughs> Why don't you talk about what's really happening right in front of your face, you loser? Oh, they're just attacking him. <laughs> the Look, score it. equals Moose C. <laughs> <laughs> a little call back from two days ago, Jimmy, huh? <laughs> oh, they're really ruining Someone this just wrote vagina. No, 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 no comment about it. No, that's, nothing. Just the word. That's perfect. This yeah. Is just there you go. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Why don't you make believe this isn't going on? There there you go. Go. Calling there him you a go. kid toucher. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. Oh, it's great. So Half the this... stuff we can't even read oh. on the air, unfortunately. You know the local media is probably monitoring that room today because yes. he just talked about how that they're like right. in, in pal talk. This and now terrific new thing that he invented. They're yeah. going to be looking yeah. at this and seeing them just being attacked with Opie and Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. This guy, um, the text is scrolling by so fast, too. Can't People even read it. Pounding him. Oh, my God. Get, get AIDS. AIDS. Someone spammed him with get AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> it's going by so fast, it's like the Matrix green. Yeah, right? yeah that's going all you're saying. <laughs> if he looks at it real hard, he can see himself. <laughs> this I, sucks. It's coming up all over this and over sucks. again. You suck. Uh, silly geese. I, I can't read anything. It's so fast. They're yeah. attacking them. It's like watching somebody be pummeled by 30 people. Yeah, like we're watching awesome. a mob attack. We have completely taken over that room, and we will every day now. This is what we do. You are not the first station to use pal, pal talk, you douche. <laughs> <laughs> sends a message. Oh, he's hey, what happened? They signed off. They signed, they signed off. off. Ah, they just ah, signed off. Yeah, Less douches. Stupid. There you go. There's real radio for you. They signed off. Not only are they not acknowledging what's going on, they signed off. They don't want to be a uh, part of this. Oh, that is funny. I say that we have to find out what room they start up next, because he's probably just going to start a different room and then say it on his awful radio show. Fine, we'll figure it out. We're all, we're live in Chicago right now. we got a bunch of people listening on WCKJ. Find out what uh, the next room he signs on as. Now they're yeah. just attacking a room. They're just attacking each other. Yeah, they're just... The guys yelling, Opie and Anthony. The <laughs> Cubs win! <laughs> Doing their... Uh, John Sterling impressions. Mike North, 670, the score. Mike's accomplishments include receiving the Entertainer of the Year, what? receiving the Entertainer of the Year award by the special children's charities. Mm. Hey, well, what he a did guy. get the urge, uh, 
the uh, the Irv uh, Cup Synod Award, <laughs> and we all understand the Irv Cup Synod Award. What? Wow, it's that's a very uh, it's a big get. Um, he also received uh, Man of the Year in 1999, and I, 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 uh, a World's Greatest Dad Cup. Someone handed him <laughs> <laughs> the worst awards I've ever heard in my life. He received a "You're a Good Guy" shirt from a friend once. The Ellis Island Medal of Honor. What the hell is that? I it's don't just know. something you buy at the gift shop is at, at Ellis Island. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> you're <just laughs> leaving. He received an iPod that he bought <laughs> at the store. He won the Silver Circle Award. What is that? From the National <laughs> Conference for Community and Justice of Chicago and Greater Illinois. No. That's a long name for an organization. Wow, uh, this is some impressive award. Uh, Mike was honored as of 2006 as an inductee into the Cl uh, Chicagoland Sports Hall of Fame. The first radio broadcast ever to be inducted. Ah. No, the first radio uh, uh, broadcaster that wanted to be in that horse crap. Media Excellence Award from the National Italian American uh, Sports Hall of Fame. Mm. But I got one of those. Uh. How many? Hey, I got my goal. If hey, you excellence. join any of these groups, you are going to then get an award five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, uh, you just walk in the door and, oh, God, somebody came in. I like how we received an award from the uh, Media Excellence Award from the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame, yet he's not proud enough. Uh, to use his real name because it's Mike North. What? Yeah. What? what where's, where's his Italian last name? Yeah, Wait, he's exactly. back in the room. All right, he's back in the room. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> you fat piece of crap. Oh, is he? He's back in the room. Yeah, he is. Oh, I'm gonna lose audio for him? a second. Sorry. There you go, oh, fellas. All right, good job. That's good, good job, boys nice and girls. Good attack. job. Continue. They're calling it 670 the boar. <laughs> <laughs> I love words. The like boar. Just admit where you got the idea from, you loser. Hey, we got Marge from Little Shelter on the line. Let's get a Marge update. Hey, Marge. Good morning, gentlemen. Marge. 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 Shut up. How are you today? Let us start. For once, let us start the conversation. Marge. We always monopolize Mar Marge's conversation. Marge, I said shut up. <laughs> Thank you. We had a morning, cute little... Oh. Good morning, Marge. Marge. Say... Oh, my God. No, you can't say it. Marge. Shh. Opie. Shh. Go ahead, Marge. Shut up, Jimmy. Hi, Marge. I just wanted to say yeah. that the guy that answers the phone Shh. before you get on yeah. is the sweetest, loveliest. Mm. Oh, yes, the little, little, little girl. girl. You know, he, he just kind of prepares you for the battle ahead. <laughs> oh, does he? Uh, he really does. He softens you up and he makes mm. you think everything is... You soften everyone up, Marge. I've seen and, pictures. <laughs> and then, and then, well, you know that after I had the conversation with you, I had to go back to bed. I was like worn out. Good. Yeah. You should and, be. And, nice. And I'm going to explain to Louis C.K. what's going on with Marge from the little shelter out there on Long Island. First of all, Marge, we had a cute feel-good story this morning. Yeah, uh, it was, was great. You'd have loved this. It was an animal story. You we like don't animal stories, right? Yeah. All right, well, the 62-year-old guy in Florida, he was uh, doing something with his garbage, and he saw a cat. He saw a old cat looking at him. Aww. And yeah. uh, he noticed that the cat didn't run away. He also noticed that the cat was a bobcat. A bobcat. So, oh so what do you God. think this guy in Florida did to the bobcat? I don't know. You tell me. I choked it out until it died. All right, gentlemen. He had to choke it because it Tell attacked me. him, and it had rabies. I wish that guy was on the phone right now because I would love to hear Marge's, uh, Marge's yes, take on the choking out of the him. bobcat. Yeah. Uh, gentlemen? Yes, uh, Marge. Yeah. So he had to choke out the little fella to save his own life. I, you know what? I don't care what you say. I know you really love animals. That's why Aww. I I permit myself to be so degraded. But I'm getting... <laughs> talk about your personal life. You know, I've been getting calls from people. Wait, wait! I gotta set up the bit from Ramon or Francus. <laughs> yeah, right. Who's calling? Louis C.K. has no idea why we're talking to Marge. Uh, well, Louis... I think I remember this woman. Isn't she? Does she have a, a shelter for animals? There yes, the and animal she calls, shelter. She calls up with the craziest uh, mm -hmm. request. Uh, the other day, Marge calls up and said uh, she needed Viagra for the animals. For one of the <laughs> dogs, there's a female dog that needs yeah. the Viagra. 
because uh, she has a, a heartworm problem, and the Viagra opens up the blood vessels. Oh, she, right, I thought, she, I thought the worms were soft, right. and she wanted to harden them. <laughs> 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 we were thinking that maybe uh, Marge is doing something with the animals, and yes, and the animals are like, yeah, the so they started. need a little, uh, a little help. <laughs> you know, first of all. Before we get into this, the nitty gritty oh. of this situation. Mm -hmm. Then you get your Viagra. I we have gotten three hundred. <laughs> uh -oh. Listen to me, three hundred pills have been promised. Really? Uh, as far away as California. But the thing that I want to tell you guys. You know what's great about Marge? The, she'll, yeah. she'll keep battling. That's why you have to jump in. Some yeah. She pretty much admitted time. on our show that mm. she needs people to sell. <laughs> I mean, to mail <laughs> drugs. Drugs through the mail. <laughs> Illegal prescription <laughs> Illegal drugs. Illegal prescription <laughs> drugs. <laughs> you, can't, you can't mail this stuff without a prescription there, Marge. No. Okay, the the authorities are coming to get you and your, your stupid animals. What? Why do I think Opie is more sympathetic? Animals? Yeah. Oh boy! Wow! You're gonna you try sure that. Know the show? You're gonna try that? Mm. That's interesting. No one has tried that angle before. Okay. Yeah. Listen. Before I go and tell you some interesting stories, which I know you're gonna just kill me for. Yeah. Uh huh. You remember I made a um a suggestion yesterday uh, that we that we go down to the little shelter and broadcast do a live broadcast from the little <laughs> shelter. <laughs> know how many animals' lives would be saved because of that, Jess? Three. Are you gonna Three on the nose. Yes. I, I Three goats and an iguana. <laughs> you, know, you, you guys will have a special place in heaven if you do that. Special place in heaven? Well, I'd rather roam free and have... Right. Access to the whole exactly. Heaven. Yeah, yeah, I don't want a special. Uh, you guys place. stay in this room. I thought the whole with place the other was animal special. Lover idiots. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. I want to just float around. There's a rope. Day. There's bars you can't get into. <laughs> VIP rooms that aren't yes. VIP rooms. Yes. There's a back room that's better. It's the same in heaven. Yep. Sweetheart. Are there booby bars in heaven? Yeah. I don't know what's in heaven. Oh, we'll say that I for know, pot talk on Monday. But I know that but there is a yeah. special place in heaven. Yes, yeah, probably next to a litter box. <laughs> That's where you want to be in heaven, in the <laughs> bathroom near a litter box. <laughs> you do <laughs> smelling that. Yeah. Uh, Anthony. Knowing me, I, I would do this nice gesture. I'd go to heaven, and then I have to uh, spend an eternity in, uh, uh, with a room full of cats, and I'm allergic to the damn things. We have never gotten as much publicity as we have because of it. March. And, but wow. But all for the wrong reason. Yes. And Marge, you don't need Everybody. 300 Viagra pills for this no. little thing. It's it's a little darling little girl that she is. Marge, that honestly, is honestly, vicious. let me ask you an honest question. Has the, 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 the shelter been hurt by the fact that you're a whore? <laughs> how, how? Okay, I just want to tell you that there's been people that are writing and calling in. Yes. And it, some of these things are really hysterical. Now, I cannot, as you cannot say certain things on the air, mm. I cannot say this word, but I can sort of tell you it starts with F and ends with N. And this person said... Wait, starts with S? F. Ends, uh, F, 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 F. It ends with N? Oh. Yeah. Fun? Because you bring <laughs> none? <laughs> and, and, Hold on, let's think of a word. Mm. What is the word? This, this woman said... Is there a U in there? No, no because... An apostrophe? What? I got, I got this... Hold on, Marge. One man said. Starts with F, ends F with N. and ends with N pills. Don't do what they're supposed to do. I may as well give them to the dog. And it starts with F. Oh. Ends with N. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so this woman's uh, husband isn't getting... Uh, yeah, it's right, it's not working. It up, so she's oh. going to give it to your Wait, dog. wait. The, all right. Four wait, patients. the female is saying these pills don't work, right? Yeah. This because the guy is using, using the pills for some like young chippy. Yes, dummy. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Well, Opie, that's what when they show Viagra commercials, they shouldn't show a guy who looks like, oh, geez, I just can't. They should show this woman. Look at this woman this, who's as ugly as your said. ugly, smelly wife. This woman <laughs> Here's said, a pill. A lot of these. So a you lot can. Of these right. They should show a guy with a. Sat shut show. up, Mark. Yeah. They should show a guy with a satisfied oh. fat chick, and then he's bilking her out of her life savings. <laughs> like how great Viagra can be for you financially. <laughs> And she's can crumbled in an emotional can... mess on a hotel floor. When I can... You're just skipping. Yeah, uh, yes, <laughs> Marge. With millions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Marge. Okay. Got a, an email saying everyone in the office is sneaking one pill from her husband's pants. Oh, 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 oh. Both of us mm. agree that the dog deserves the pill more than the guys. But yeah, you don't need that like many pills. It sounds like a movie pills. with Lily Tomlin in it. And, uh... <laughs> 
I, I'll make this public announcement. Girls, let's awful. get all the Viagra from our. I have a feeling that no good husbands. <laughs> I have a feeling that Marge is selling Viagra. To that dog. <laughs> Some Dolly Parton comedy that nobody wants to see. Can I, can I, just I, I have a feeling that she's selling Viagra out the back door at the little show. I'm yep. going to have to go back to bed again. No, you're fine, uh, Marge. How's the catatorium doing? Why do you have to go back to bed again? Is the uh, Viagra kicking in at the shelter? I, I don't need Viagra. Well, we didn't think you did. Okay. You uh, you give it to the dogs and then you pull out the peanut butter. I do not. <laughs> You've heard the stories. I've seen the videos. I'm, I do not need fire. Uh, and how is the was it the roof leaking on the catatorium or the cat cataterium? What is that called? It's a cattery. Cattery. Oh, the cattery. 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 <laughs> Wasn't the roof leak leaking? We need money. Were you plugging it up with Viagra? And, you what? know, if you would be so kind mm -hmm. as to do a remote from Little Shelter... Do you understand, Marge? Marge, listen to me for a second. You know about animals and, and the, do the shelter and everything. We know radio. Do you know how utterly boring <laughs> it would be for us to actually broadcast from a, a shelter what uh yeah Hope, how you doing today <laughs> just like yapping cats and dogs and yeah hissing cats what would we say give us give us a good break give us make you a bit you direct right now give us a break that we would do from the little shelter if you, go if you let them kill three cats no, during the no. show that's what i suggested yeah. thank you uh, yeah. okay. i bet you and you can ask your producer and all the directors and yes. all the uh you Dick think we have directors and producers? Were you crazy? Have you heard this show before? It can't be. Really, none of your animals deserve to die to to uh, to give publicity to the others. You Just know, choose your three least favorite cats and yeah. kill, kill them on the air, and you'll your shelter will be Marge Gold. Yeah. Please on to something. Yeah. If you choke out a cat right now, live on our show, we will do. Oh my a, God, a remote, a remote from Little Shelter. You know, there's one cat in there that you're just like, shut up, you know, I hate this cat. There has Even to be Marge, a cat there's one sucks. that you're just like, oh, I hate this. You know, cat. you know, you're putting at least one cat down today because we know what you're really about. So why don't you just choke it out live on the show, knowing it's going to be dead anyway by the end of the day, and then uh, we get some good radio, then we go down there and give you some boring radio. Now. We've been voted the best shelter on Long Island. Okay. <laughs> the only wait, 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 hold on, Marge. Who voted? Yeah, who voted? Who I didn't voted? get a ballot. Was there a booth with a I hole in it? With the, the people who gave Mike North the uh, Man of the Year award. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're the ones who gave who her the. Who is Irv Cupsonet? What? Who is Irv Cupsonet? I don't know. Irv Cupsonet. He's very big. Don't in say Chicago. his name. And don't. Uh... No, no, no. That was the award. <laughs> oh, it was. See, Mike North yeah. received the Irv Cupsonet because award. I yes. I thought he was like a. a a um, reporter or something, a writer. Wow. I don't know. Maybe you know more than us about uh, radio there, Marge. Maybe we so. should do a remote. Hey, uh, Marge. <laughs> You getting any action or what? Yeah, Marge. Let's let's let get us know. A little bit. We want to know a little bit more about. We want to know Marge. a little bit about Marge. You know so much about us. When was the last time you had, you had a little romp in the hay? Yeah. Um, not saying. Come on. Oh, come on. Now, uh, Who was president? No, yes. you can ask me certain questions. With a non-white. When's the last time you <laughs> rolled around with a non-white? <laughs> Gentlemen. Yes. If you come to Little Shelter... How close did you uh, get to having a, relations I with a dog? A Let's get into this for real. my personal life. What? Oh. What? I saw a picture of Marge. I think she's a goer. How old is Marge? I think Marge? she'll go. Marge, how old are you? Not saying. You should be on a smart. All right, Marge, job. last time that you did uh, have an evening with a gentleman, did you feel, uh, right afterwards, did you feel good or silly? Oh, that's okay, a good wait, question. Or I'll sad? Answer that question. That's a good okay. question. Give me, give me three options. Okay, silly, uh, sad. Unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hogtied. <laughs> three. Give me uh, three. Black and blued. <laughs> did you? Go ahead. Three. Okay, um, delicious. Uh huh. Ashamed. Um, ashamed. Good one. Delicious. Delicious. Ashamed or uh, or wanting more. Or sleepy. Or up fifteen bucks. <laughs> I will answer the question. Okay. okay. Oh, all right, Marge. Delicious. Ah. Oh. Yuck. Ah. <laughs> That's what the dog thought. Mm. Why'd you feel delicious? Delicious, Marge. Yeah. Why? Because it's personal. Because she's a sexy woman. Man, it is it a is it a man you see from time to time or what? Yep. Oh, uh, you're not married. Yeah. Are you married? Nope. He is though, right? 
Nope. Oh, oh there was a pause what there. Was the pause? Mm. We know all about the pause. I don't mean the pause that you're, you know, cut, <laughs> cutting off. Can we? We're not talking about the dumpsters. pause and there are marks on your back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put oven mitts on all the German shepherds <laughs> so they don't <laughs> scratch marks <laughs> up. <laughs> Do you at least let the cats watch? <laughs> Oven mitts. Now, Do you at least let the on. cats watch? Those, they're, 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 those now, do claws are a bitch. <laughs> they have to tape the oven mitts so they don't fall off the German <laughs> Shepherd's <laughs> hands, and he just feels silly. You know the cats are watching because they're voyeuristic freaks. <laughs> Come on, Marge. The big things and don't make a thing what? about the big things. What? Um, one of the surprising things, as I said, mm -hmm. is how many women are responding. Oh, really? And listen to this. Okay. This is, this is a little tidbit. That my girlfriend and I were watching the news and saw Ingrid. We are both dog lovers, so we decided to make a supreme sacrifice and send 10 death? pills. Now, wait. She says, we don't do it that often anyway. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Well, sh but see, what you don't understand, Marge... Is, is the guy is still doing it somewhere else? These are women, honey. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and, she's and saying we don't do it often. Women, did you know that women take Viagra too? Yeah, I've heard. So, I mean, this is. Um... Wayne at Franklin Square. You're on with Marge from the Little Shelter. How you doing, boys? Hey, little Jimmy. Hi, Marge. I represent an auto parts store in Franklin Square, Long Island. Ooh. It's called US One Auto Parts. We will donate five hundred dollars to the cattery of Little Shelter if you club a puppy over the head with a miniature souvenir baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> Marge, will you hit Pretty a puppy on his head with a little souvenir baseball bat yeah. for five hundred bucks for your I think cattery? This is an excellent. I would hit him with a club, and I don't want the five hundred dollars. He should just pass away. No, not, no, not, no, not Wayne the, from Franklin not Square. Wayne. No, the puppy. Dog, the just, puppy. Just pick one no, of the dogs you're putting down nobody, today anyway. Nobody touches a hair on any animal's head. Wait, let's yeah, CBS make some money. Little shelter. Hold on. Let's CBS make some money. How about with a, one of those Bud Light baseball bat bottles? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. We get it sponsored. How yeah. Come Gentlemen, uh, yes. how come you yes, don't put a call through from a person that understands our plight? You really think, right, the, well, you think the board is lit up? No, they <laughs> are. You know, Marge is... Hold on, me... Marge. You're right. When you're right, you're right. You know, we like to have all voices heard on our show, so we do have one of those. It's Matt in okay. Connecticut. You're on from with... Connecticut, a very civilized state, Marge. Yes, uh, they're very... Yes, exactly. Go ahead, oh. uh, Matt. You're on with Matt. Marge. You're on with Marge from Little Shelter. Good morning, I, Matt. I think it'd be more interesting if you hit a, the puppy with a fucking golf club. Uh, <laughs> well... Matt, you're not allowed just to say just that just word. Tee it, tee it I off, tee it tee it off in the front yard. What, golf club? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Do me a favor. One but this call. is a great formula. You can... One half, call. Half right. your animals will live like kings. The other half get hurt badly. All right, look. Give, a, give <laughs> us a seems call. Like a pretty good. Give me one. Give kind of us a call. 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 Serious comments only for Marge okay. and serious inquiries look, only, please. We are in America, and you know we should run your shelter like we run America. Some people have it really good, and others. Yeah, other people have to. Others don't have it. Yeah, too other well. people are homeless. Right. So. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, if you do something unusual to one of your pets at Little Shelter, we'll uh, open the floodgates. Other pets, yeah. other pets then, will then prosper. Then we'll never be able to see eye to eye. Uh, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> She's so rational. She's so solemn. Marge, yes? think of this. Look, could you just get one of the dogs and oh. just smack him across the face <laughs> so he goes, bye, bye. Just one little yelp oh, from the I dog. Can, that that can, would be worth a hundred dollars from that's me. That's uh, I'm, I'm throwing in another hundred. Yeah, we got two hundred dollars right I'll there. I'll give five hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. We're up to. I can smack Matt across the face. No, no just no. just smack the dog till it goes. I would. You, you guys. He'll forget. Listen. He's a dog. He won't right. even remember I why want, you smacked him. <laughs> right, and then Marge. you'll you'll have money for the cattery. I hit my dog all the time by mistake. Yeah. She I thinks like sometimes I'm turning around and I like I elbow my dog. <laughs> shut up, shut up for a second. Like I'll, I don't even know this woman. I'll elbow my dog in the Marge. eye by mistake. That's an and accident. She yelps and looks at me like I'm sorry that I was that you, standing that here. The dog did something wrong, and I can't yeah. explain. My dog does not believe that it's yeah. an accident. My dog thinks Let's, I hit her on purpose. Right, How and about, then it goes, and then I pat her on the head. It's and they over. forget it. Yeah. How about we? Uh, I have sex with her, but that's another. All right, hold on. We have to take a break, Marge. I think it's only fair that we uh, take a couple serious questions for you. Yeah, to we're going to get a bunch of uh, uh, people that want to talk to you about the Little Shelter. So could you hold on the line throughout the commercials, Marge?
March. March. Hello. You I, hold on through the commercials. I, before I shut up. We have to go to a commercial, I March. Know, but I have to take a whiff of oxygen. Oh. <laughs> are you kidding? Okay, do the hatch. Yeah, you know what? That's Light what a the, cigarette at the same what, time. That's what half the dogs are saying over there, but they don't get that opportunity. It's not oxygen. Do they? Okay. Zyklon B that she's dropping through the cattery roof. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie and Anthony. It's Whip Em Out Wednesday. Herbie and Anthony just got me wild. I just got wild! We tell you how to get a wow sticker, but we can't plug the website. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Show. Just phonies all over the place. Good story, Louis. We'll have to phonies. I don't know if we have time to tell it now. It's Opie and Anthony, Louis C.K. in studio. His uh, HBO special comes out on DVD in a uh, week? Uh, June 26th. June 26th. Same one. Nice. Tuesday. That's right. Everything comes out on a Tuesday. That's right. It's going to do very well with our audience. I hope so. Uh, he, I, I guess you, uh, it's a good story. Uh, uh, you were, you, you got into a text battle with, uh, Man Cow. Yeah, <laughs> Man Cow, I'd been on his show in Chicago before, and, uh, he liked me and he took my phone number, so I always get these texts from him saying, uh, hey, I'm gonna be on Fox News, like he, you know, promotes to me and his other text pals, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, so, and when Imus went off the air, the first thing he wrote to me was, uh, I'm going to get Imus' job. That's what he really wants. Oh, to get yeah. Job. And then when he so, didn't get Imus' jobs, by the way, he's blaming us. Because yeah. he's basically saying now to the people that will still listen to him and think that he's not full of crap. Uh, it, yeah, it, they don't, they don't uh, like me over there because I, I don't support Opie and Anthony. I tried really? Opie and Anthony. That's why Jackass. they didn't give me the Imus uh, station. Yeah, that's why. He just lies through his teeth He constantly. also said that um, CBS... I, I just saw something. I think it was either on... Oh, online or or in one of the newspapers. I, I, it was some like oh that's what it was. Some real small town local yokel newspaper thing that was online, and he said that they offered him the job that we have right now, the one that uh, replaced uh, David Lee Roth after the, uh, he replaced Stern. Right. They offered him that job, CBS. Yeah. And uh, I turned it down because I didn't want to go to New York. Yeah, that's it's he, only that's what you don't want to do. Yeah, but yeah, but he would have come here to. But so then I saw him on Hannity when stuff. you guys got uh, suspended. I saw him on op on uh, Hannity and Combs saying they should be thrown off the air. They're terrible they're people. Liberals. Yeah, and liberals. and here's to me, <laughs> they're liberals. Yeah, yeah. nothing it, makes me madder than a guy who's a radio personality. Uh, hoping for somebody else to get censored. Exactly. It's, it's the most disgusting, especially because he just wants the airtime for himself. Of course yeah, he And does. he doesn't think that's going to bite him in the ass. Like, uh, uh, two years from now, he's going to say uh, 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 fart and get uh, fired. And get like, fired. He doesn't know it. that it's yep. going to get worse. And so I wrote him a little text re just responding to his latest self-promotion and said, lose my phone number. I don't like you. You're full of BS. Uh, I saw you handing and Combs go to go to hell, and he wrote back and said, "Hey, we're all full of BS." Ah, uh, oh, sure. I'm looking forward to having you on my show and promoting your next project, like trying to remind me that somehow he's bred on yeah, my butter. Yeah. And I wrote he's back and said, "No, out. really, lose my number. Don't write me anymore. You're disgusting." <laughs> yes. Me. And we went back and forth a few times. Louis so, you know. C.K. get his hey. HBO special on DVD this coming That's Tuesday. Right. <laughs> Louis doesn't mince his texts. And buy no. my stuff. If you don't hear it here, I'll be promoting. My man cow now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's full of crap, and I think people are yeah. finally uh, seeing what he's really about. Right, Self promotion doesn't a, yeah. doesn't give a crap who he's going to roll over no. to get there, and no. doesn't realize that they're going to come after him next. Of course they and are. He's a he, liar. He, he just lies. He's had so uh, so many more FCC fines than we ever had. Mm -hmm. He's done uh, despicable things in his career, but he wants to make believe he's uh, he he's not he, he's not about that anymore. No, and the man. great thing was that Sean Hannity. Did defended you guys. He was like, yeah. not letting him do it. He's going, no, yeah. people can change the channel if they want. And exactly. Sean Hannity is a, is a conservative. Yep. Uh, but he's rational. Yeah, Sean Hannity was great yeah. Uh, yeah. as far as our situation goes. Yeah. He was uh, he was a sane voice on uh, TV, yep. and you know, mm -hmm. greatly appreciated that. The only one. We, we actually got to talk to him about the whole thing uh, <laughs> a couple weeks ago. He's he, yeah, he's a stand up guy. He's a good guy, you man. Know? He didn't uh, ah whatever. Uh, Kennedy. We could get into it another day yeah. when we have a little more yeah. time. We got uh, Marge from yep. Little Marge. Shelter. Now Marge, beat Up your there. dogs. Hi Marge. <laughs> from beat the your dogs shelter. for money. 
Cheat. That's the promotion we want to do. That's what you should say. Uh, Marge, Beat a dog for money for the cats. Marge, <laughs> it's like a cartoon. Marge, you promise me that you're going to have some nice calls. Yeah, All right. we've been uh, we've been going through the calls for the last 15 minutes. It's very hard, but we've screened, right now. we've screened a few calls that are very supportive of you and I the little shelter and your let cause. Me, can I just let me just ask one question, which is kind of like mm -hmm. when you ask a woman like for 10 million dollars. <laughs> You know, and then you go, now we're just negotiating price that whole time. <laughs> yeah. Marge, if, if we raised a million dollars for you, uh, contingent on you just slapping one dog in the face. The answer is no. Really? A million, but a think million million To sacrifice one dog's, like, feelings for a second no. to help all those other animals. Think about it. Nope. That's like a hero dog. What about a hundred million dollars with which, if you had a hundred million dollars, you could save every dog yeah. and cat in the world. Yeah. You would literally save both species. No, that we can. You could change the name Marge. to the Big Shelter. Every finally, Marge, the Big Shelter. Marge, you're you're not sane. We do this to uh, with humans. Why not with uh, pets? Would, you would not people, slap a dog in the face that to save are much thousands. Nicer than people that just love. How about no, this? They're right. <laughs> Marge, how about this? Would you say for fifty dollars, take a thumbtack? And stick a, a note to a dog's nose that oh. says, I'm a dog and I suck. <laughs> <laughs> that little leathery nose, all wet. All he would have is a little red dot there for about a week and he'd be fine. We're going to make Marge go back to bed again. You know this, right? Marge. 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 Just remember this. You got 300 Viagra pills coming illegally in the mail to the little shelter. Yeah. Thanks to the Opie and Anthony show. Marge, can I ask you one thing? Blood on the note. For all the money you could imagine, would you just take a dachshund? With those, or a basset hound, you know yeah. basset hound, right? With those big floppy ears, yeah. and hold the ears together above his head and staple them together so he looks silly. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I would staple your ears. Oh, oh my! Oh, no, no, you did. did. No, you did. For a hundred thousand, for a hundred thousand dollars, would you look a dog, take a dog's face, and just look at it and say, "You stink." <laughs> yeah. You would you even stink. talk to a dog mean? Yeah. For a hundred grand. For a hundred grand, would you talk I, mean would you tell to your a dog? favorite dog okay. that he stinks? Wait a minute, let me let me think because you know sometimes it's the tone in the voice. No, you have to know. You have to sell it. You got to sell it. No, you got yeah. You Marge, you got to sell it. Sell it like you're yelling at a guy who didn't satisfy you in bed. Thousand dollars. I could say something to like what? Uh, one of my little friends like this. What would you say? You know, honey. <laughs> no, honey. No, Marge. It better be, you know, honey, I'm sorry I chopped oh, your nose off. You can't start an insult with, you know, honey. Wait Marge, let me ask home. You made, you made an offer. Now, let's see if you're going to stick to the... I didn't make an offer. I said if. I, the All right, the key then, word was uh, if. So let's These are hypothetical see. situations like OJ's murder. All right. That is a <laughs> hypothetical answer, okay? All right. Hypothetical answer. For $100,000, right? Yeah. I would take a little face in my hand, oh and I would say to that little face, yes. with a smile on my face, Aww. Oh, sweetheart. No. No, no. I really Not... don't like you that much. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, would I, I would almost pay that. That's almost I, good. That's almost really good. I would pay $100 for that. Where's the 100000 We Marge, said if. Marge. I said it was hypothetical. That, I would give you $100. Marge, you got the 300 Viagra pills coming in out of the mail one. illegally. Yeah. Remember that. And when they bust you for drug trafficking, leave our names out of it. How much ecstasy you need. That's going to be shipped to the little shelter. You're going to have mobsters coming to the back door looking for dope. <laughs> Marge, here's a real offer. Okay, the guys have been silly geese, to my okay. apologies. Yeah, yeah. That's why I accept them. Take a chihuahua, and, and this is for $63. $63. I, bucks. I want you to grab the chihuahua <laughs> by its ears, and I want you to squeeze its ears until your knuckles, until like your, your fingernails are digging back into your own skin through its ears. <laughs> and I want you to put your face by it with your old lady breath, and I want you to scream racial epithets into its face. <laughs> 63 bucks there, Marge. That's uh, 63 dollar roonies. How about... <laughs> By the way, Marge, I have to thank you. Uh, I get the little shelter, um, oh. the address labels all the time. So, I, I, you know, it's got my name on it yeah. and my address, and I'm able to mail things out. Yeah. I throw away everything else that comes with it, but I use the address labels. Thank you. Hey, uh, let's get back to the Chihuahua. How about this? 
Let's just get silly with the chihuahua and get him penis enlargement surgery. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Them walking around. Just give him a, a. If you take a chihuahua and have a friend of yours hold its paw and walk away from your friend, like ten feet away, and your friend has to still be holding the paw, <laughs> and you have you to know, still have the chihuahua in your you, hands. You can figure out how that starts. You can have. Eighty-eight dollars and forty-two. Right, wow, Marge, let's calm you down. Marge, let's calm you down a little bit. We're running out of show on this side of the Opie and Anthony program. We got a little song we want you to hear. This oh. will, this will, uh, this will get everyone calm. Okay. This All is right. like a fundraiser song. You know how they do it on the Jerry right. Lewis Telethon? They right. uh, yes. play music. Well, I here you go. Are if, you come to Little if you Little like Little. this song, send your contributions. Send your Viagra and all your illegal drugs to, to the little shelter have, out there in Huntington. Have money. Uh, Mar Marge needs crystal meth. Here we go. Starts off nice, right? It's nice. It's a single. This is good. It really is. Yeah. Feel free to... It's pretty. Pretty guitar. A little bouncy balls. <laughs> <laughs> When the game of life makes you feel like quitting It helps a lot if you kill a kitten Mark my nice words, song. cause from Pretty. where I'm sitting You can't go wrong if you kill a kitten Listen close, Marge. I don't. Here comes this part, you'll love it. <laughs> Pretty. There's no crime that you'll be committing. I know the law. You can everybody kill a kid. <laughs> Come on, Marge. Marge, sing along. It's kill a kitten. Come on, Marge. Ready? Kill a kitten. Come on, Marge. Sing along. <laughs> you have no. Listen. Here's some this ideas. Be on the song. Her saying that in the background. <laughs> you awful. Warrant it for you as a young kid. As love dog, you should take a kill a kitten. When you went to the fishing hole. Kill a kitten. Kill a kitten. What is she saying? Listen up. She's just not happy with the song. I don't think. Suggesting methods. What? 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 what March? Problem March? I said, didn't you take your little doggies with you when you went to the fishing hole? Yes, what the hell <laughs> <here> is this? <laughs> it sounds like Anthony doggies, Hopkins. <laughs> we yeah. were, yeah. Didn't you yeah. take your little doggies with you? I, I brought my When you on. went to the fishing <laughs> hole, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Huck Finn, yeah. and my German Shepherd chased Jim into the water. <laughs> it's me, uh, Weezer, and Jack. <laughs> and Petey came along with us. All right, Marge, we're running out of show. <laughs> if Huck Finn had a dog... German Shepherd, that the book so, would have been one one page thick. So, so this is what we learned. We we learned that Marge needs Viagra for the uh, the female dogs yeah. and bear traps, right? No comment. Money for the cattery. <laughs> She's tired. She's no, got to go back to bed. Need money for the little shelter medical center. Medical center. Right, what Marge. the hell is this? It's something new every time. This is gonna be a complex down Warner Road that takes uh, up a mile long Graham. with all the money you're gonna be getting. Come on. All right, Marge. All right, Marge. We gotta go. We're we gotta go. Uh, give uh, generously to the little shelter. We're kind of fading you out, like you fade out the lives of some of those animals down there. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Marge. Turning on the gas. <laughs> Louis C.K. Thank you. Thank you. He's joining us uh, on the other side. Oh, but yeah. Of course. Oh, let's yeah. make sure everyone knows that the DVD for his HBO special comes out Tuesday. Okay. Shameless. Uh, Louis C.K. Everybody, if you're not joining us over there, have a good day. We'll see you. <laughs> it's, it's so odd not doing the show from the uh, XM studio. Uh, that's why we take such a long break in between shows. We're actually walking to another studio. Eh? Yeah, yeah, it's very far. So it's further than the old one. Yeah. That's what it is. I guess they're... Uh, I, I have they started the construction project? Wait a minute. What? Because I hear Ron and Fez were doing the show from the little phone booth studio. So why why can't they do it from the big studio if they haven't uh, started work yet? What do you mean they haven't started work yet? Fez have, dude, you know that little closet studio? Uh -huh. It's as big as that bathroom. Uh -huh. They have actually been doing their show. Could you imagine uh -huh. us trying to do that? Consummate professional, that uh, Ron Bennington. Are you acknowledging a show I have no interest in? Wow. 
<laughs> You're not going to the big wedding tomorrow? Oh, Is that no. tomorrow? Yes. I'm definitely going Eastside to Eastside Dave. Oh, no. I'm not going to be lo- part of lovely, that sham. lovely Casey. Sham? It's, it's They're a in sham. love. They're young and in love. It's I thought sweet. it was a goof, too, until I saw them talking, and it really bugged me, because I've seen him naked. He's packing nothing. <laughs> and uh, I actually want to go to that. It's got a flat Irish ass. He's awful. It's a sham. <laughs> Wait, is... Uh... Ronnie should be writing for the WWE at this point. Who, who are we kidding? <laughs> Wait, so uh, are you Stupid going sham. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> sham. Are you going? Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm going. It's uh, what, Hard Rock Cafe? I, I don't oh, know are you guys going to all be fooled? Fooled? When there's a, a confrontation and I ain't marrying you and they, uh, someone marches out. And throws sand in someone's face goes, and they get hit with a chair. Yeah, exactly. I'm, the only thing I'm thinking, and, and that's funny that you say that. It's because gonna I'm end like, with an elbow to someone's face. I'm thinking, should I give uh, like money as a gift? Oh God, what is because, wrong with you? Because I'm, I'm thinking, uh, if they're really getting married, I gotta give a, a gift. Yeah. But then if they don't, if they're not, uh, then I'll seem silly. I'll feel silly. You brought this to the table a long time ago. You've been to weddings to the point uh, where you know like the marriage is never going to last. So the, so you you start with like two hundred dollars in your envelope, right. yeah. and then you go to the bar and you start taking the money out of the envelope that you reserve for the couple. Yeah, because you realize it's uh, not, uh, uh, not going to work. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dave's too much of a drunk for for her, I think. Like Dave is just. So drunk all the time. I know what I think is going to happen tomorrow. Get married, it doesn't matter until you have kids. It's just yeah. stupid. It's just dating. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's dating with a contract. Everybody, a dating with a one-sided contract. <laughs> this is my prediction. Tomorrow, uh-huh. there is no wedding. Uh, uh, who, who's he marrying? Casey. 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 All right. Casey uh, uh, admits that she's pregnant, and the place goes nuts, and then everyone's going to be like, "Ooh, that means this wedding's even." But it's Earl's and, baby. Thank you. Now you read my mind. But that's so phony because everyone knows Earl doesn't even have sex. That's the beauty of the thing. Is that pregnant? is outrage. And then there's like no, a, that's what Ope says is gonna happen. a fight and then uh, uh, Eastside Dave marches out. You think that's the way it's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, lo- I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. All right. Is Fez going to be there? Is he here? Fez. Okay. Poor Fez. Oh, was he a wreck yesterday? Why was he a he wreck He just yesterday? started crying again. I feel so bad for the guy. Yeah. I don't know. He's on, he's on the air, and he, he made a mistake yeah. and said that um, Tiger Woods, uh, uh, he said Tiger Woods' son was named Sam, and that's oh. like a plain name for a, a, a baby, and then uh, it was pointed out that it's it's Sam, a girl. Right. And and then Fez was like, oh, I got it wrong. I, <laughs> And he started crying <laughs> that he got it wrong. <laughs> I'm sitting. I'm. I'm sitting at home listening, going, "Oh my God, he's losing his mind. He's crying because he got it wrong." He should be. That's how you respond to an error. You weep, and then you 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 uh <laughs> you do a mea culpa on your knees and take a mouthful of. <laughs> f- why am I trying to? You suck dicks. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait a minute. I forgot where we were on yeah. XM. I'm, I'm yeah, weird. Another walk over. You forget. Yeah, you forget that you can just you can say exactly. cunt, throw him out, his vagina, in everything. My face. And maybe we get. <laughs> oh, this is still on. Oh no. no. Uh, of course it's still not. Still dump on. it out anyway. Uh, yeah. But yeah, he started crying again really? because I guess his uh. His uh, psych drugs weren't working as well as he th- mm. thought, but he's got just got to give it a little time. I think it's That's it's a sweet boy. It's one of those. He's too emotional. He's too sensitive. Faggot. So he made the mistake. Of faggot. <laughs> well, faggot. maybe maybe that too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's just too, he's got to realize that he can make these little mistakes and it doesn't matter. And then Ron just lays into him. Hey, Ronnie just goes with the flow. Yeah. Ah, like, oh, well, you made break. a big error. You know, you got the the baby's uh, sex wrong. That is a big mistake there, Fez. And Sam probably after Sam Snead or something. I'm thinking, ah, I'm ah. thinking he went with a golf. Oh, name. okay. See, I didn't even think of that. Because Sam is such a weird name to name your kid. Do you think that's the end of Tiger, sorry, though? Sorry to our own Sam, by the way. Oh. Uh, is that I think the that's end the, the end of Tiger and his. Uh... It, it, he he will uh, he will see the baby maybe once a week. Oh yeah, nanny. Yeah, he's too rich. Yeah. He'll have other people raise his kids. Rich for people him. really don't raise their kids like that. Yeah. He'll have a putter in his hand and just hundred peak. <laughs> oh, that's an investment. Yeah, he'll hold the baby away. every once in a while when it's all cleaned up and it's yeah. burped and stuff. Oh, that yeah. is an investment right there. He, him having sex and having a baby is like buying a stock. Yes, for him, you hand that kid a golf club and that is it. Yep. In a few years, that kid's going to be doing commercials. All he got to do is get old enough to. He's just got to be old enough to swing that club yeah, girl. and the endorsement deals. Him. It's a girl, Sam. Oh, I said him? 
Yes. Are you gonna start crying? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I made that mistake with with a mouth on my dick. Hey. I didn't cry. <laughs> I, thought a, I thought it was a her. Someone is suggesting that <laughs> uh, it was a fabricated dick. <laughs> yeah, that deserves tears when that happens. Oh Jesus, it's a guy. Someone is suggesting that uh, David Case's uh, limo may blow up. Oh, WWE now that style. would be interesting. WWE style. Why not? Well, uh, that's fantastic. Well, I I wish him the best, and uh, tomorrow I'll be there to watch them uh, uh, show each other how much uh, they love each other. I don't know those people. Good luck to show. everybody yeah. at that sham. I don't care if they that all sham. die. That <laughs> sham. They all die. I don't care if the place burns. I know them. I don't. I feel that way. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the exits get blocked and there's a fire. <laughs> all <right. laughs> and all the plastic cutlery gets fucking melted under their face and curls up. <laughs> it's just because I don't know. Knives I hope that of all people, I don't know. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. Idea for the show, by the way. Yes. They are uh, building a uh, state-of-the-art studio for us over that other joint. Yep. Why not take one picture a day to show what's going on over there? Oh, there you go. That's it. A montage. One same exact position. One picture every a day. day. And what? then you can run them together and play that uh, Why is there horse racing music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> but I, don't want, I want the picture up every day. Because then I want to make fun of uh, how slow the whole thing is uh, yeah. coming along. This is QOP. Uh, what's up, Iraq? It'll just look like a still picture. Yeah, <laughs> right. It'll be a movie, but it'll it, just be a still picture. If a guy's didn't update the picture for the last 90 days. No, that's... Uh, that's you you know how when they do that, the people look like they're moving in fast motion, you see the building go up? Yeah. It'll be that that fast, but you'll still see people just milling about slowly because <laughs> they're actually moving <laughs> that slow. Wow, this guy, <laughs> this guy got really angry. Fuck you, Opie. Utah Sam. Oh, because his name is Sam? Yeah. Oh. You, look, you could say, Louie, the name sucks, and I'd lick your a asshole out for you. And Wait, you want... Care. Louie. Wait, Ant wants... a good name. What? Louis. What did I do? Ant wants a montage. Montage. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's obligated to say it in that he higher missed, pitch. He missed it before, though. He did. Yeah, so we get to spank him. <laughs> Pull down your pants. He's waiting for secret letters Bud to be Rub? slid under doors. Is it Bud Rub Wednesday? I think it is. Actually. Butt Rub Wednesday. It, it certainly is Butt Rub I Wednesday. I totally forgot about Butt Rub Wednesday. Jimmy? I'm ready. Uh, E-Rock? No. E-Rock. E-Rock. E Butt Rub You're Wednesday. You're part of this program. Get up. No. <laughs> Get up. No. E-Rock. How about we do Always it Always getting nervous. Why? What happens here? I already did it. I don't want to do it again. Yeah, but Louis hasn't seen Butt Rub Wednesday. What yet. happens? He rubs the video. His... Huh? A couple of men rub the their ass cheeks together. To How about two men rub their ass cheeks together? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, nice. it's not sexual at all. No. It's not, uh, not gay or anything. Like this little tent I'm getting in my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Butt Rub Wednesday. Butt Rub Wednesday. Butt Rub Wednesday. E Rock. E Rock. Butt Rub Wednesday. E Rock. Come on, E Rock. No. You just gotta stand up and rub your butt on Jimmy's. That's right. E Rock. Come on, Jimmy. E Rock. E -rock. E -rock. If Jimmy will do it, you should. E Rock. 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 Look at him scrolling through pictures. What are you, what are you, at? What are you looking what are you at? Pictures of butt. Scrolling through. What are you looking at, E-Rock? Looking for the video. Why? You want to jerk off to it? You can just re reenact it right here. Yeah, let's reenact the video. But how about behind the Pal Talk cameras, just for Louis' sake? Come on, man. No, I want the cameras to see it. I want them to see yeah. our ass cheeks meeting. How did this start? What happened? I just decided. <laughs> <laughs> It just decided it was a punishment at first. Who will uh, who, who will uh, rub butts with uh, Jimmy today? Come on, I uh, did. I Danny will do it. I'm sure. Was, as you, have you heard that story I used to tell on stage with the kid when I was like nine years old? I this me and my friend both started masturbating, and he used to he'd push his dick into his hand on his stomach. There's actually websites that explain that you shouldn't do that. It's a way some boys masturbate, like they apply pressure. Really? And it hurts your dick, like it does long-term damage. Do they go up and down or just push on it like they're giving really it CPR? Hard. Yeah, <laughs> like it's a palp. Pal pal yeah, the head swells. Wow, yeah, and so I, he, had, he asked me to sit on his ass while he was doing it. 
That's so oh. there would be more pressure. Oh, he was kind of like <laughs> humping his hand. Yeah. It's not gay because he just needed more And you pressure. had to sit yeah, on his ass. Right. sat on his naked ass. Uh, with oh, your uh, pants on? That's It's weird that everybody asked that because that wouldn't help. No, 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 you know, but why is that? You're right. <laughs> that's that's that is the first thing everybody point. asks is, did you Were your you, pants on? They were on, yeah. Oh, I okay. think. I, that's oh, oh, on. boy. I, no, I don't remember. As I came to, I was looking at Charlie's pants were down. My naked butt was next to Charlie's naked butt. Charlie was mad. <laughs> hey, wh who's this kid? Sam? Yeah. Sam, you're a s Sam is sick. Who the fuck are you? I'm Noah. Noah. Yes. And what are you doing right? here? I don't know, Sam. Just are you a board op? Are you an, What do you do? Do you work here? Yes, I'm an intern. Oh, oh. you're an intern for this show? Yes. Oh, oh. wow. How long have you been here? Why don't you have a name tag? Why doesn't he have a name tag? I don't know. How long you been here? Why is he sucks? Because uh, he sucks? Well, he should have a name tag. Oh. oh. Yeah, he should have a name tag. Watch you, you know about the name tags? Know. Need name yes. tag. Well, this is my fourth week here. Four? You? No way you've been here four fucking weeks. Yep. I swear, I don't even know who he is. <laughs> I'd have had him removed from the building if I even saw him. What have you done for four weeks? I've gotten lots of food for people. Yeah? Me? Yeah, I got you a bagel a couple times. I don't even remember. See, none of these guys on the family God. should bring something if they want to move up and be Wow. Well, right, put some no, glass and, in and the bagel. Yeah. And then <laughs> some ground up glass. glass. A great bit. And then he go, Anthony goes, who got And his tongue is bleeding. Who did this? And I can't even talk. Noah. Come no, on. Now, here, then I'd remember you. All right, kid. I keep. I got to keep you close. It is true that the intern program is just uh, us getting waiters for our show. <laughs> it's really fallen <laughs> off since our first crop of interns who are now employees. Like all the guys that work for us. Yeah, the first they round. They were interns. That was the first round yeah. for the most part. And then it and then just. What are they going to give their jobs to new interns? Yeah. No. Well, so they are really. I think they no. might be discouraging the interns. You're right. To what not contribute. That's and, how and, America works. And do well so, so they don't get replaced. Yes. One that generation happen. gets in nope. and then gives the, gives the other jobs to their shitty brothers and sisters. Right. All right. Why are we. Uh, that could happen. Why is Noah here? I think he has the potential, and he could bring something to the show for uh, Butt Rub Wednesday. Wow. Uh, I thought he would okay. be a good candidate. You That's think all. I'm rubbing ass with oh. that fucking with an intern? <laughs> What's bring so me Renee. What's about E-Rock? Yeah, right? Like, a what is it about this E-Rock guy? Thing. If you're going to rub like, asses. So that means you like rubbing asses with E-Rock. There's yeah. something about him. Yeah. Yes. What is it? That's what I want to know. Yes, is supple. Uh huh. You it's, haven't it, seen this guy yet. Look how look, he's, he's, look, look how no, fair he is. Please. Look how no. milky he's. He's very a twink. Fucking Iraq. E twink. E you want a man? No, I don't. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> fucking Iraq. E Iraq e is a fucking a meaty boy shirt wearing yeah. plump ass. Iraq, <laughs> e come on. Why don't you just rub butts with Jimmy? Come on, look. Come on, look how young and awkward and unformed this guy is. Exactly, I'd and rub would, fronts with his butt. That was you. What? I'd rub. I'd turn around and stick it in his shitter real quick. <laughs> and not even out of homosexuality. Just out of hate. Yeah, but just because you got my order wrong. Hatred. <laughs> oh, like, have you ever had a homosexual encounter? Seriously? No. I don't believe you. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I don't think I have. Come on! Oh, maybe, uh, he, maybe uh, that after, wasn't hard. He just found out years. about as fast as a breakdown. As a, you ever done anything gay? No, I don't believe you. Well, um, well, I okay, okay, I might have. Right, well, you got me. Right, now let's me. say I did have a homosexual. <laughs> it was me and Charlie. <laughs> Louis sat on a kid's ass. I sat on a kid's. I ass. I did things when I was a little boy. I don't believe that you've never done anything. I don't believe it. I don't think so. I'm Completely hetero. I'm not saying you're not hetero. Did you ever do anything that was like on the borderline, <laughs> like sucking a black guy's dick for four hours? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, you know those things where if you look at it one way, it could be gay. How about this? You ever open your you mouth know, wide to have somebody hump your throat without it touching your lips? Because <laughs> <laughs> that technically is not gay. It's not touching. In case you want to let That's me do cool. it. That's just cool. All right. Listen. Nothing ever even close like uh, you're in a tree fort with a friend and you had to make believe you were asleep <laughs> while he offered to give you a blowjob? Never. Nothing. Like that? I don't mm. believe you. Uh, all right, let's let's see how fucking honest this dumb crew of interns is. I want one of them to confess something they did when they were young that was fucking ah. homosexual in nature. Get Pat Duffy. Um, <laughs> Pat Duffy. Who's that? Pat not only looked. Pat's a dick, creep. Pat rubbed his face on it like it was catnip. <laughs> <laughs> There's Pat Duffy. God, I love this kid. Pat Duffy has I a huge love this kid. fucking head. Duffy. No. What do you got today? Nothing, Nothing gay. 
Hey, here comes Pat Duffy. Any anything gay? I touched one of my friend's dick one time when I was a kid. All ah, right, that's All right, pretty gay. You know. What happened? What, yeah, give us the, the circumstance, circumstance did he, there. Did he, did he come in your Amish beard? No. <laughs> <laughs> you have an Amish beard with no, cum in it. <laughs> that's, why, um, that's why I asked. <laughs> no, when I was like eight or nine, my buddy uh, he used to sleep over every Friday. Mm, I bet. Beds. He was fifty-two. He was in. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know my buddy. buddy. Always call me your buddy when you yes. tell this story later. Yes, fifty-two year old buddy with now fifty-two year old buddy with the same last name. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy Jebediah. Uh, just haven't had the same last name as Jebediah. <laughs> yes, we built, it was at the barn raising. Bill, we built a barn and then a carved a wooden horse, <laughs> and then I shit in his mouth as he jacked <laughs> off in my face. <laughs> <laughs> a brown white sixty nine. Ah, I don't really remember. I went at his cock like a butter churn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the exact circumstances of it, but I do. Oh, I bet. Another OJ. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's got the OJ thing. Yes. I drifted back in, and I had then a dick I, in my hand, and I was horrified. My clothes all wet with white stuff. And Charlie was Is this my, my cum? <laughs> Did I come? <laughs> Charlie, what happened? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus OJ. Jesus Christ, OJ, you just fucked you me You sucked it like a professional, OJ. <laughs> Jesus, where'd you learn to do that? <laughs> But Charlie <laughs> fell asleep in the passenger seat. <laughs> Jesus. All I remember is I remember looking over because I was on the top bunk. He was on the bottom, and mm -hmm. I looked over like this. Wait a minute, what buddy did you have bunk beds with? Mm. Well, yeah, no, my, uh, me and my brother shared a room, and he okay. had moved out by this point. So. Ah, so he had moved out, and then somebody moved in. Well, no, 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 my, ah, my a little sleepover. Sleepover. Sleep oh, you had a sleepover. Sure. Okay. Right. How old's your brother? Uh, he's seven years older. He's twenty-seven. So you were, right you, you, you were you were how old when this happened? I was Twenty. Eight or nine. I, I think. Eight or nine. So your brother moved out when he was six. 16 or 17? No, all right, I'll take that back. Then I was probably like 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Age goes on a little. Timeline, timeline, timeline was, kills you every time. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember yeah. He was, yeah. He was yeah. padding his age. Going, he well, was. These so. guys would understand if I was 8 or 9. I wasn't was really like, thinking what I was doing. 10 you know is a little doing. more. You get a little more. Like, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. more. I was 19. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? No, I just remember looking over, and for some reason, he had his dick out, and he was hard. And I, don't, I think he might have been jerking off, because we were like... We had past the point where we stopped talking. We were like falling asleep, and jokingly, I reached down like this with one finger out, and he no, for, and I was like, and I was like, what are you doing? And I and I, I reached out, and he thrust his penis forward, and my my finger came in contact with it. Uh, now you are uh, a little no. too yeah, close. Yeah, what is this fucking Michelangelo? Yeah, <laughs> God the touching Sistine the Chapel. Little, God touching out of life, Jing. That's the finger. That's nothing like the nothing like you know. That, that's, that's it. Nothing happened. like that's when your that's brother that's used to piss in your mouth from the top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I think there's more to that of than just a little fingertip touching, uh, swear. a okay. thrusting hip. Then again, I'll believe him more because he ate puke. I don't believe him. Uh, oh, I don't gay. believe him. He was, the, he was the kid on the lower bunk. <laughs> but I, I think that he's had a couple of encounters. With I played Monster Rain when I was a kid. I've confessed that to whoever would listen. Monster Rain? <laughs> yeah, my Monster Rain. Monster Rain. I would yeah. to the dicks. What happened? My friend and I would blow each other under a porch. I never we heard you called that. We, we, I know. We it's, it's, it needs a name we would other monster. than blowing each other under a porch. We, at that age, yeah. You, you were, uh, we would yell monster rain, and then to get away from the rain, we'd hide under a porch, and like while we were under the porch, yeah, yeah. The and the day could be sunny. It wasn't raining. Oh yeah, it really wasn't. It didn't have to be raining. They would say monster rain. There was always a threat of uh, rain. Yeah, and you'd have to hide under the porch. We were always and then, umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to suck oh, each other's. Dicks. Yeah. All right, Pat Duffy, very good. Okay. Thank All right, you, you rock. Duffy. Just rub butts. So what are the interns that we got? Just none. Oh, we got plenty. Well, then bring them in. They're all lying. Yeah, they're all lying. They I need to be interrogated. Why? Don't, why won't he rock uh, rub butts? Because he knows how good it feels. And what happens is our asses touch, and we both get a magnetic reaction in the front. But he rock. Oh, yes. <laughs> he rock. Why not uh, do it again? You did it once. Who yeah. Is this person? Who the hell are you? He's the new intern. What's your name? Matt. Matt. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been here? A week. Ah, oh, okay. Never yeah, seen a week Matt. now. I, I don't know who Matt is. I've never seen. What do you do? What have you done in your week here? Get coffee. Get breakfast. Say yeah. More waiters. Waiters. We should mm. definitely training waiters. <laughs> what made you want to be an intern on this program? They want to get a radio oh, instead. They're gonna a while. be about seven years or so. So you what? I listen to the best. I'll seven be years. A fan. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. College or something? Yes. You, where? I'm at St. John's. I don't care. Oh. Do you want to be in the business? I wouldn't mind. Good luck. It's a hard hustle. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you ever suck a dick? No. Love. Okay. How about you? No, I've never sucked a dick. Okay. All right. Mmm. Not yeah. quite getting it there. Uh, well, what happened? I don't know. Dan had a reference that didn't. Uh, I didn't uh, get it. 
Really? Yeah. Hmm. It happens. So what, if rare, re- what if you reward nothing, butt rubbing short with uh, extra intern duties, like give them real stuff to do? No, that'd be crazy. Ever yeah. jack off in uh, <laughs> the same room as another guy at the same time? No. No. Interesting. Yeah, perhaps when yeah. I was uh, maybe I might have been fourteen. Yeah, cousins' house. Mm-hmm. Cousins, cousins, yeah. and with cousins, and you yeah. just kind of like sleeping in the same room, and uh, what? What happens? Nothing Take it from there. Just... Well, take it from there. Oh. You're in the same room and go. Go. It was uh, uh, bunk beds. <laughs> mm, those are bunk beds. Uh, man. I'll get you every time. Fucking bunk beds. Yeah, bunk yeah, beds. Yeah. I, I want gay you know. kids. I'm getting bunk beds. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bunk beds are yeah, leading yeah. to homosexuality. Yeah, right. Because these, <laughs> these families bugs. out there don't want to buy a bigger house. The yeah. bunk bed. <laughs> the bunk bed. Causing homosexuals. <laughs> and uh, I don't remember how it started, but... Mm. So jerked off. with your hand on your done. dick? Yes, it was uh, similar to that. <laughs> I think you know how it started. Of course he does. Yeah, because 14, you know you know what's going on. Yeah, so so what? what was it a, a magazine being passed around, or was it uh, just a mental fantasy? What what was the stimuli? A hot aunt? The cousin? <laughs> I, I really actually don't remember. You don't remember? No. I don't, uh, I don't I remember believe when I was, that. Uh, Wait, can you sit down for a second, please? I, I'm having trouble looking at it. Can you sit just, just you, because you're confessing? I don't believe him. All right, when I was, I like, know. in uh, fourth grade, me and my friend Mike, t- hey, he had a scuba mask. <laughs> yeah. And we were taking the scuba mask and pressing our ball, dick and balls against it, to, like, <laughs> smushed <laughs> against the glass. <laughs> <laughs> we just, like, we just That's taking turns terrible. doing that and just looking at our dicks smashed up against the glass. scuba glass. See, yes. that, Louis, that oh. leads to one of our favorite bits, yeah. gay or funny. That's, uh, I think that's, that's funny. funny. That's funny, yeah. Yeah, there's things yeah, you do among other guys that Is you're just going for the funny. laugh. And gay other, or funny, right. Gay or funny. What was the one that we got the guy who uh, uh, they were swimming? And you know how you try to do a whole lap under the water? Like, yeah. oh, all right, your turn. So the guy... This was told on. Oh uh, yeah. That's so the guy funny. goes for it and he's underwater for the entire lap mm-hmm. of the pool. And as he jumps, you know, you get out on the you other end. You get to the rim of the a, pool and you gotta go like. You yeah. need to breathe in. for air. Well, there's his buddy waiting for him with, with his, his pants out. down and his dick out. So the second he breaks the water to breathe, he's got a face full of cock and an open mouth. Go. That was a close one, but we determined that was that's funny. funny as well. That's pretty yeah. good. Uh, we will take your gay or funny story. Balls on the head at a party, like when you. Photograph uh, your your friends asleep. Uh, no, and you see yeah. that's gay. You stick your guy. balls on the your, I think that's gay. I think that's gay. No I, way. It's, no. it's hack funny, so it's not funny. Pass yeah. out gay. guy with a scrotum on his head and, 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 and you're gay. taking pictures. The funny. guy the guy pulling his dick out at that funny. point, his ball bag out. Funny. By the way, I got two pictures from somebody that I told to uh, hold my camera at the virus tour <laughs> from the bathroom. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah, two sure. pictures. Someone walked in on me in Florentine. Was it me and Florentine that were taking pictures of each other's assholes <laughs> in, a, uh, in, in, a, in a fucking in some in a stall at somebody's wedding or something? <laughs> and somebody walks in. Jesus. Oh, because you get the camera on the table. On the table. Yeah. So we were photographing each other's okay. assholes in a stall, and somebody walked. In. We might have been doing it uh, at a gig or something. Somebody was somebody else's camera, and one of us was bent over with our fucking sheets oh, spread yeah, wide. Sure. That is, that gag is never old because oh, I, no. I I get the camera home and I'm looking and I see peeking out of these jeans. It looks like the head of that monster that Bugs Bunny was chasing around. <laughs> Monsters are such interesting people. <laughs> Just like that heart-shaped yeah. monster. Yeah, yeah. That, wow. that guy. That's what was sticking out of these pants. Old mushroom head. Oh, my God. It's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. So, what's your name, son? I'm Brian. Okay, Brian. So, describe this scene now. Cause I, don't, I, I believe you and I don't. Yeah, yeah. I think you're leaving something out. Um, I remember... Dick. Uh, when I was finished, I dropping. I was on the top bunk and dropping the tissues off. Had it stopped. Tissues. Had it stopped. Now, 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 hold on, hold on. This right. doesn't make sense either. Yeah. Now you're trying. Now to you're. Now, now you're premeditated sudden. jerking, because uh, you're in the bunk bed, top bunk or bottom bunk. I was on top. Top. Even worse. See, you don't even have a bottom bunk where there might be tissues on a night table. You brought tissues up with you for the purpose of jerking off. That would make sense. Okay. So yeah. then you know that you're jerking off. And there's a yeah. guy on the bunk bed underneath. How'd yeah. you know he was jerking yeah. off? With the whole bunk start you know? moving? I, I don't. Because he said, ready, set, go. <laughs> How'd you, you know? You're getting an know. opposite, because you got to get the rhythms right, or else it ends up like that film of that black and white bridge, the bunk bed. <laughs> you get your rhythms wrong and the bed breaks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I honestly don't remember how it started. No. No, I would tell you if I knew. Well, okay. Uh, so that was it. You jerked <laughs> off on the top bunk while someone else was sleeping. Or was he jerking off? 
He was. He was jerking off. How did you know too. he was? How did you know he was jerking? You know how I, I knew my friend was other. blowing me because I felt his mouth on my dick. <laughs> so did you? I knew. Did you hear sounds? Did you feel the movement of the bed? I probably told me. Oh, he said I'm jerking off too. Right. And you went, so am I. Mm, okay. I That's a little. I think the uh, there's is a little head. something there, maybe. Yeah, yeah. there's something. Hey, ah, we'll give him another week. Yeah. If he doesn't tell us the details, he's out. Fire him. Yeah. He's out. Yeah. Uh, Gossamer, yes. Coming in like crazy. So wait, Dog shit sniffer from Woodside. Yes, that was you, the, yeah. you, uh, you said to your... You, let's think about how it started. You said, I'm going to go up and jerk off, and you said, I'm going to stay down here and jerk off? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> <laughs> he was... Jimmy was there. Jimmy was basically Jimmy gets there. pissed off because, like, a, an intern he doesn't knows. want to admit to the two countries that he, he might have had a homosexual but experience. Me and my friends used to jerk off in the same room all the time. Yeah, he's only going to go... Kid, one kid would tell you... This is something me and my friend used to do. One kid would tell... The, the, he'd tell you a story about a girl you want to fuck, and you jerk off while you listen to him tell the story. And then you tell him a story, and he jacks off. That is a and then you wacky... Fuck, and then you fuck each other. If I, yeah. if, I, if I heard the story first and jerked yeah, off, yeah. he'd say, my turn for a story, he would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Who's yeah. telling the and story then after you come? Off together. Hey, let's say, let's say hi to Kenny. We're kind of playing gay or funny a little bit here. Kenny, hey, what do you got? What's going on, guys? Hey, hey man. Hey, um, I got a friend of mine, actually two friends of mine, that, like, the, the one friend, he always would do, like, stupid, like, gay shit all the time, but stupid. the other <laughs> the other friend, not so much, but I think it, he did it kind of to, to freak him out, but they were at a party, and they were drunk, and uh, he got totally naked, and they just started wrestling completely naked. Gay. 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 Don't even have gay. to think. There's nothing funny. That's just gay. It's Anything that happens yet. next. Uh, but is, it was around uh, wait, 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 wait. Like under like gay. Was it, yeah. it wasn't like a gay party. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna help out, help you out a little bit. Was it after Borat? No. It was, but way before Borat. How many oh, people so were gay. at the party? Yeah, it was like three years ago, two years ago. How, how many people were at the party? It was like 50, 60 people. Not gay. It's yeah, done for it shock value people. to be funny. Not gay. Gay yeah. stuff isn't done in front of people to be a goof. Dude, two guys wrestling naked. That's did. funny. But see, would let, people would go, oh, shit. Were there any women there? Yeah, there was, there was plenty of girls. Plenty of girls. That ain't gay. That's two guys fucking around mm. being fu trying to be obnoxiously So fun. you're saying, where's the line then? If one guy's fucking another one up the ass, but there's a large crowd, it's not <laughs> yeah, gay? Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> uh, that's what I was where's the line? Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. Where's the line, Jim? They may have been the trying motors. to be funny, but it just seems way, way too, way too gay. Well, one gets a boner yeah, I, and it's I gay? I thought it was gay, but uh, there was too many people, you know. Yeah. And, if they and did it alone... People in, didn't in a, think it was uh, gay talk. Why would I speculate? Go ahead, sorry. It's yeah. gay for every man with a boner and funny for every man who's laughing. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's gay or funny is in the dick and <laughs> instant, instant, feedback, uh, the bowls. instant feedback is saying gay, always gay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people right, coming back guy. with a gay verdict. Well, gay See, and Borat, but, it was funny. But this was mm, before Borat. Mm. It doesn't matter, but I'm saying like, that's an example of it caught. See, the problem is, though, it's mm. like this whole gay or funny thing, and most of these things are done to try to be funny, but they come across gay. True. True. Now, now that the, the, you, you got to kind of deal with that. Part I'm not of talking it. like these guys are actually gay guys. It's just that they try it's to coming do off as gay. Here's oh, okay. the difference: two guys uh, wrestling like in Borat, naked in front of a bunch of uh, whatever it was, home equity group yeah, uh, the, the people. The yeah. people yeah. Hila yeah, beyond yeah. funny, yeah. hilarious. Bunch of two guys nude wrestling in front of all their friends are just saying, "Please, just let us be gay." We 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 <laughs> want to announce us, this. Please tell us we're gay because we can't tell <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> please pull us aside after this. You know you're gay, right? <laughs> the hell of a way to come out of the closet. Yeah, yeah we might as well do this in front yeah. of everybody at a party. Yeah. It's Will in Miami. Will, what's up? Hey, there, Will. Hey, boys. Louis, sweet tip. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. I got a gay or funny for you. Mm -hmm. right. We know. Did I lose you? No. no let's go. Oh, just my have, God. You have horrible right, timing. Right, here we go. Yeah. yeah. All right. 14 years old, my buddy and I used to have what we called jizz races. Yeah. And it would take place in his bedroom, mm -hmm. and we would throw a sheet of newspaper down, each stand there with a copy of our favorite reading material, mm. and whoever... Uh, Won the jizz race, got a dollar. Gay or funny? Okay. It's, it's just boring, and you should kill yourself. <laughs> Wait a minute, Pope. You should go back in time and kill your fourteen-year-old <laughs> self. To have, I want us to have. I resent every day you've lived since then. Thank you. 
jizz races on the Opie and Anthony show. Jizz races. We should have a jizz yeah, race hmm. on the Opie and Anthony show for a real prize. <laughs> the jizz. Wait, jizz <laughs> race. Yes, the real prize is you How is it going to be phone. judged? Wait, I, I got lost somewhere. What first? happened? They jerk off, and whoever comes first wins. I mean, in overall life, whoever comes first loses. Right. Mm -hmm. But I say but, we have jizz races on the opening of the oh show. My. Oh, my. Jizz God. race. Uh, who would judge? Whoever. Uh, anyone well, with it's eyes. a timing thing. It's <laughs> <sweet>. <laughs> we we and, and you see somebody, well, that's pretty much the What winner. if it's like a photo finish, though? Uh, well, uh, well, You're going to need somebody Sam that's going to have to watch. You put a video oh, camera. Put fucking Fellini with his camera and let him that's get down right. there and fucking film all of it. It'll look like the tartar sauce for your fish sticks, you little infant food-eating <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, all right, well, I guess it's time to ask Sam what he ate last night. Sam? All right, intern, we're done with you. Yeah. You weren't you're willing to admit too much, so we got to move on. Yeah. All right. The other guy. I when you're ready to admit, name already. raise your hand. We'll bring you back that in. That Noah guy is weird. Mm. Yeah. He kind of has oh, a Noah, smirk. Right? Like you don't even know how many yeah. fucking dicks yeah. are. Fuck you! I'm not fessing up. Cut off and thrown in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what did you have for it's dinner like last? A cereal time? dick sucker cutter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sam, I had uh, two different kinds of chicken fingers. Uh, one two different kinds was. Uh, you mean from two different places? Well, no, they're both from the... F well, yeah, one from the Louis, freezer, one from the uh, fridge. To help Louie out, we yeah. learned that uh, Sam eats like an eight-year-old. Yeah. No his, joke. He will not his eat like is... food, adult food. Right. So he eats like an eight-year-old. And mozzarella sticks. Wait, what were the two different kinds of chicken? Oh, it was... Uh, one was in the fridge because it was from the last time I went to my mom's house and those were left over. And the other was in the freezer. Those were the regular. You put them in the oven mm -hmm. and defrost them. And so your mother, you I went mean, to see your mom, and she sent you home with some chicken fingers. Well, yeah, I didn't eat them all. And so she said, like, "Take these with you." Yeah. What else? Ma'am. What else with the chicken fingers? Eat them later. Um, and some triscuits. <laughs> and milk. And milk. And of course, yes, the that big glass of milk. Milk, triscuits, and chicken. <laughs> oh, that's what my dog and eats. Mo mozzarella sticks. And mozzarella oh, sticks. Wow. Any dessert last night? Um, yes, I had uh, some coconut ice cream. Mm. You have the shittiest fucking <laughs> Are you snacks. Pregnant with a kid? <laughs> Are you oh, coconut ice cream? You know what pisses us off? He eats like that. Doesn't gain a pound, this kid. I know, and his feet are Fuck. way too wide because of his bad arches. He needs fucking orthotics. <laughs> Mad Magazine feet really bother me. <laughs> What'd you have? A tartar sauce, a Ilios pizza, and fucking uh, a, a, what, awful treats. Bazooka Joe bubble gum. Yes, and, and some strawberry marmalade. All right, well, but I thanks. ate it out of the asshole of a small animal. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking worst snacks. All right. Hey, uh, Louis C.K. has got his DVD coming out Tuesday from his HBO special. Make sure you pick that up. Please. Uh, Louis, yes. what do you think of uh, the ONA Trial and Virus Comedy Show? Oh, that was great. I had a great time. Yeah, it was a lot of you fun. You did Vegas with us? No, I didn't. I, this is my first Oh, so that was no. the first. I wasn't sure. Okay. It was the first time I did no. it with you. I, was, I had the flu in Vegas. Yes. I don't even remember being there. Oh, I had a great Ugh. time. Yeah, had had something time? weird happened when I was on stage. Um, oh, right. Some guy, I, I, I mean, I, all I heard was just cheering all of a sudden in one section in the middle of a sentence. One sentence. One section far away from me started to cheer. You know that's not for and you. And I didn't know, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm like no, okay." So what happened? And nobody, of course, could just answer. Well, see, what happened was, you know, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it was just, and then there was a noise because somebody, uh, it, it, there was like some sound that leaked out. Yeah, they were queuing up something. They were queuing up and, the yeah, they your the mic trick. cut out. So I thought that. That somebody's behind me on the screen fucking around with me or something. And that's oh. why they cheered at an image behind me and then the sound. That's what I thought was going on. Oh, my God. If anyone would do that, they would be shot. I, thought they were like, I was like, would these guys fuck who would do like, like Yeah, who would do that to a comic? He's in the middle of his, uh, yeah. his shit and you just get up there and... So I tried, turn, I tried uh, to do my awful. set looking at the screen in case it happened again, and then I ended up finishing. <sighs> but the crowd was so great, they, they hung with me, and it ended up great. <laughs> Thanks for the idea, though. That is, yeah. Let's do that. Let's uh, sabotage somebody. Fuck around with other people. Not bad no, but, and so apparently, a comic well, we can't I found stand out somebody that. sent me in uh, MySpace saying that they were in the section, and they said that uh, there was a guy who was so blitz drunk, because mm -hmm. they didn't serve booze at the event, I guess, yep. so people got really loaded before. They had to get like three hours when worth people, of hammered. Yeah, when people think they need to pre drink they yeah. over, they overdo it so he was so drunk and they threw the security threw him out so the cheering was this guy being thrown out and apparently he tried to swim back to the because jones beach is surrounded by water yeah he tried to swim back into the event swim back to the venue yeah that doesn't say <laughs> so a lot that's for I, our event 
<laughs> it's just one guy. No, the good news is that they cheered a guy being thrown out. Yeah. That that means the crowd yeah. was good. Yep. The crowd was amazing. We, no, I had a ball. I we mean, get great really crowds fun. at these shows, which uh, we're very happy about. The next stop, you're doing Mohegan Sun with us? Yep. That's a week from, uh, what are we, nine days out? Ten days out? A week from Saturday. Mm -hmm. Tickets still available through Ticketmaster.com. Uh, Mohegan Sun's the next stop. Psyched for that one. Oh, yeah, we are. I hate doing the casinos, and I love them. We're going early. We're going to broadcast from the Wolf, one of our affiliates. Uh, I never go home with any money. Yeah. <laughs> I lose all my money that I oh, make. I lose everything. Go to Virus Tour. Go to Virus Tour. One word on MySpace for all your info on the on the uh, tour dates, okay? All right. But yeah, no, I was really happy. The crowd was good. They, they said they listened. I mean, they're excited. Yep. They Usually crowds that are really pumped to be somewhere are not good uh, comedy listeners, but these folks were really good. And you were late yeah. in the show, too. I was, yeah, I was right after. You know uh, that they your, laughed all the way to the end and it was three and a half hours? Do you realize yeah. that was a three and a half hour show? That's hard Dale to night? That. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's good. So, well, we look forward to Mohegan Sun, the next stop. Yes. Uh, a couple. Well, you want to take a break, or you want to do uh, more gay or funny? I don't even want gay or funny. I want to hear something honest out of one of these motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I it, it's amazing to me how people will not admit people, shit. But people aren't as honest as you, Jimmy. That's, that's what's amazing about you. That's what makes you special. No, nah, no, nah, but it's not even Shouldn't. special. It's just stuff that everybody should. It's it's amazing to me how people won't. No, not. I mean, I'm not talking about it yesterday. There's no way a child with a dick doesn't put that dick in <laughs> a mouth, ass. <laughs> Or against the dick of another child. <laughs> or in the hair of or something. There's just no way. All right, let's go with this one. we got a couple of these. Well, they're, they're, they're asking the interns if anyone's brave enough to step up. All right. Uh, Big J, what's up? Hey, guys. Welcome back. Love the show. Yeah. I got a good one for gay or funny. Yeah. This guy I used to play baseball with in high school, he would pick on the underclassmen, like in the locker room before practice. He'd catch them whenever they, were, whenever they were bent over, putting on their pants. He'd run by and stick a finger in their ass and holler, oil check. And, whole, and yell what? Oil check. Oil check. Oil check? Gay. Oil check. I, I like your voice, too. I vote gay. <laughs> gay. gay. Yeah, I mean, the guy That's was a gay. fucking psycho, but... All that football stuff is gay. I wanted to play. I was a big kid. I wanted to play football in high school, and I had a friend that was a year ahead of me, and he said, well, you have to jack off in front of everybody in the shower. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. jacks off on you. <laughs> uh, they take... They, they close your, your asshole with duct tape, and uh, <laughs> oh, great. everybody Kidding. slaps your dick. No, this all had... This is what our... Ha is the high school football locker room was like, and I was like, well, I, I'm not playing football because I'm not gay. It's the gay... Yeah, yeah. Louis football not, camp and the football team. He's thing. not exaggerating because we had that story on yeah. Long Island with the pine cones. Oh, the pine cones. Oh, that's all these guys yeah. do. No, this is what America is built on. And then they go, like George Bush and the, the, the skull and bones. Right. You know that just means guys are fucking each other up the ass. <laughs> Like guys, the future presidents yeah. fucking each other up the ass, and then they go to Abu Ghraib and stick their dicks in Iraqi people's faces. <laughs> like this is what fucking like macho, powerful people do. Yeah, that's the ultimate assertion of American power. Yeah. Is is sticking your is the dick. dick in someone's face or vice versa? That's the weird thing about an Abu Ghraib, like somebody with a dick in their hand. Like right, hey, look what look I got. What, look how I'm fucking. I this got guy a dick over. here. The enemy. I'm making him piss in my face. What a loser he is. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I, I pledged the I pledged the fraternity and yeah. A lot, what, yeah, a lot of naked stuff, but didn't have to be hard naked, thank God. Right. None of that crap, but still yeah. just naked stuff. You ought to pick yeah. up marshmallows with your ass cheeks and yeah. dump them on a replica of a competing fraternity <laughs> house. Yeah. That's what he did. It was, yeah, yeah. Pilot to Bombardier. It's called, you know, bomb the fraternity house. Yeah, yeah. We did do that. And then we did have to scare no, sure. funny. And then we had we we, we were blindfolded. We had to go into uh, uh, toilets mm -hmm. and and squish the. Uh, the turds that some uh, sorority pig left behind from a party. <laughs> <laughs> but they were bananas. This isn't gay. Yeah, you know what, uh, though? I, I uh, You hope they were well, bananas. Well, most of them were bananas. There you was remember them. I remember I'm, them as bananas that Charlie put here, in the toilet. Here's the deal. Like, <laughs> like mash. They're like showing the dogs of, sniffing each other's asses on the nose, by the way. Wait, here's like, like at the end of mash. It was a chicken. No, it was a chicken. They weren't, no. bana they weren't bananas. They were dicks. Here's the deal with the banana <laughs> thing, though. I, to this day, aunt, I, to this day, believe that I did squish a banana. Yeah. But then when you're in the house and now you have to do this to other people, ah, things happen because maybe you don't like a pledge uh, too much. Right. So I'm sorry. I can't, I'm so distracted by that. They are just showing a big dog licking a little dog's asshole. 
on TV. And they're, they're doing a cute animal story with two dogs. They're ignoring that the dogs are felching each other. Yeah, no one's, <laughs> the, the big dog is just licking the nutsack of the little dog. Yeah. <laughs> Much to the little dog's pleasure. Where is the little dog? It's in front of the big dog. It's just going to start humping it. He's the one holding yeah, up. They finally it cut to it. Too. No one. Oh, here comes another dog now. Let me just get my nose up this dog's asshole. They're not showing it. No. Here it is. No. Like, there there he goes. Goes. The little dog, the little dog's getting He's his ass licked. Him and nobody. And the other one wants to get in there. <laughs> this is the morning show. Is the just fucking bestiality that going looks, on? That one guy looks nervous. Nobody else cares. Oh, the white dog's in a uh, hump position. Oh, totally. It looks oh, like he's ready. To... This is what they do. Yeah, he's getting ready. Yeah. With there the, you go. The Give mommy kisses. <laughs> True. You smell there like dachshund there ass. There he goes. He was fucking, he was blowing him. Yep. <laughs> and they don't acknowledge it. They don't no. go, hey, look no. at that dog sucking the other dog's dick. <laughs> he goes, so where can we get dogs like this? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> this, ah. is, this isn't gay because it doesn't include another man, but when I was a kid, we lived in a two-family house, so mm -hmm. there was, and there was these nurses that lived together above us, and I was Ooh, sexy. fucking, I didn't care what they looked like, I just... <laughs> And I used to, our basements were connected, so I, I would stay home from school, uh, pretending I was sick, and I would go down to the basement and climb, I'd go into their apartment. Wow. And I would find their, Ballsy. I'd jack off in their underwear. <laughs> wow. And then I'd go back downstairs and feel horrible about myself. Make your getaway. Yes. Feeling all guilty yes. about what you did, left. Did you take the underwear with you? No, no, I left it there. You left jizzed underwear? These women, these women, it's not like they lived with a guy. They, what the fuck? Yeah, they what the fuck did I do last night? Jizz in my underwear. And they knew it was you because they'd find a load of some day. smarty rappers. <laughs> 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 Who else could it have been but the boy dancing? <laughs> some baseball cards. Oh, my God. Let's... Why is this Red Sox penny? <laughs> my... Yeah, a fucking Fred Lynn card with a load of half Lynn. sprayed on it. <laughs> let's, go to, let's go to Jamie in Cleveland. Jamie. Somebody put cum hey, in the crawl, you hey, sweet in, in my sock drawer. Who could it be? <laughs> go ahead, Jamie. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I had a couple uh, fraternity buddies in college that would have a contest. Uh, they would go around the house and try to jerk off in other guys' rooms, and so people started catching on to this, and they would start locking their doors. But uh, these guys would climb through the windows, um, like get a ladder, go up to the second floor, and climb through oh, the window Lord. just to just a jizz on jerk off in these people's rooms, and they'd assign like point systems to that. Is that gay or uh, funny? That's funny. Point That's system. No, it's mm -hmm. no, no, it's even I funnier. It's both. There's yeah. you know what's even funnier. There are women listening to us right now that really believe that we take our well, we all, we our sperm seriously. Yes. We'll, we'll pretty much leave it in here. Oh, we exactly. don't we just, just fling that shit right, right in Jody Foster's like, face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't care where it goes. We, we have no. we have more respect just for like snot. The, <laughs> <laughs> just like At the, least we'll do that into yeah, a exactly. tissue and make sure we throw it no. away. No. We're sperm like though, <laughs> no, like a paper boy just flinging it over your shoulder on every door. Don't get it. Riding don't by in a bike, yeah. jizzing on everybody's doorstep. Flop. Women think guys take that part of uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> part of us seriously. Not Our sacred seed. <laughs> right. Yeah, That's there like, it goes. Ladies, <laughs> if you're not available, your fucking underwear while you're working will do. You're replaced by the thing that covers your period box. That's <laughs> <laughs> so true, though. Uh, you are cloth that legs go through <laughs> and shitty asshole gets rubbed on no. is as good as you are. You, no are, you are one line in a long list of places where jizz can go. <laughs> exactly. just, You're just the most irritating. In a, in a cunt is like number 32. <laughs> exactly. On the list of a thousand. That's right. It, 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 it's after hand and before face of invalid. <laughs> I showed my penis to a retarded girl when I was uh, <laughs> Did you? Uh, when I was nine. There was a family of like it's nice people that looked <laughs> retarded like, people. Yeah, it was like the I forget their names, but they all had Down syndrome, like all these kids. <laughs> the Nagels. Even, even the father looked. Like <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Jimmy! Oh, is that Nagels? evil? Who are the, I don't know. Uh, it's Eric Nagel oh, sitting yeah. right over there. See, if he would have done the butt rub, we would have left him alone. Oh, the Nagel! <laughs> <laughs> that is so wrong. 
<laughs> no, but I was behind a CVS. Yeah. Looking for something. And there was Gina, whatever her name was. And I just said, can I show, him, show you my dink? And she said, okay. Uh, so I just sure. took it out and let her see it. Wow. I used to show my ass and, and uh, to this girl, and she used to show me hers. Like, we, I didn't know anything yeah. about the front end. Yeah. Like, I, I was initially, I guess, christened an ass man as, uh, as uh, in kindergarten, because it was mm-hmm. kindergarten, and I'd walk up the street, and she lived, um, uh, like, two little blocks, suburban blocks away around the corner, and we used to go to the shed in the back, an old tin shed that was in the back of her house, and uh, she was this blonde-haired girl. She had a little, like, uh, Dutch boy haircut, mm-hmm. and uh, she would turn around and pull her pants down and look over her shoulder, and I would do the same thing. I'd pull my pants down and look over my, and we'd both be looking at each other over our shoulders at right. each other's asses. Like Hummels. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like a little Norman Rockwell painting. Like Hummels. Like there should be a little puppy tugging your shorts down. Right, exactly. Yeah. Like, and I, it was, I, I used to love looking at her ass. Sure. Uh, but I never thought of like, you know, turn around, let me see the front. Yeah. Front didn't, didn't, sure. uh, no. I wasn't into the front in kindergarten. You're an you're an ass man. I didn't know. And in first grade, like the front was yeah, definitely sure. what it was all about. You know, when I was a kid, my friend and his sister used to always piss their pants. So what I would do is get either one or the other one. Uh, to, I'd lay on the on the on the dirt behind shrubs and have them sit on my face so I could smell the piss through their underpants. <laughs> that makes complete sense with yeah. you. Sure. Like that is so. Uh, and I how show, old were you? Sh- um, probably, uh, again, it all happened before fourth grade, so I was yeah, second grade. I right showed my Something penis to a crazy old man <laughs> <laughs> in my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Why? It was Schneider from one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> You're just bored? What was Gave one of his yeah. cigarettes no. rolled up in his sleeve. Guy. Show him his dick. I grew up in Newton, and there was in Massachusetts, and there was a guy. They called him Florida Steve, and he was a little. We had Crazy John. <laughs> Florida Steve. Yeah. I'm from the Everglades. Hello. <laughs> Hello, really Florida, Florida Steve. Evans. This weird little old man, and he'd come up to you like if you were in a park or in the street. And go, hey, uh, hey, uh, how are you? And, and he'd ask you about Florida. He'd just steer the conversation. <laughs> ah, it's hot, but it's Florida hot in Steve. Florida right now. And you go, yeah, it's hot in Florida. He goes, what are the girls like down? there and you'd have you tell them like everybody in town knew how to do this was he, so Rizzo? You, you tell them uh well the girls they got, they, got, they got big tits down there and he'd start jerking off in his pocket like this is wow do anyway so i saw him i was by my you know you with your friends and you make fun of florida steve of course crazy old man <laughs> and one day i was alone in a park and he walked up to me and i i he's i took out my dick and showed it to him i don't know why. did he ask he just went, okay, have a nice day, and he kind of walked away. And wow. I realized that I had freaked out. You yes. freaked out Florida old, Steve. Yeah. Florida Steve. Did he, think Florida. It was, did he think it was the stem of a Florida tangerine? <laughs> little red pubes? <laughs> Maybe. Could have been. Florida Steve. I didn't Steve have pubes yet, though. Let's go to Oz in Georgia. I wanted to hear about dicks, you fruit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not uh, pussies. Oz? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? What's hey. up, Oz? Hey, Louie, love your stuff, man. Hey, get, get his the, DVD uh, that's coming to... Hey, look... Ah! <laughs> Set me up nice. Get uh, his DVD this coming Tuesday. We gotta get his plugs in. Shameless. Shameless is on uh, DVD uh, starting Tuesday. Hour special. All right, sorry, Oz. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just trying to take hey, care of my buddy here. Funny Thanks. man. When I was uh, around twelve, I went to Boy Scout camp for the first time. Uh, boys probably twelve to sixteen years old. You were there for a week, and they kept demerits. And the two. Uh, individuals who had uh, the most demerits were threatened with what was called the red pecker. And at the end of the week, they had the kangaroo court, and what they would do is the two boys, who had the, they would announce you, and then the the worst one would have to actually pull down the pants of the next to worst one and actually paint their pecker with uh, a red substance. I think it was like mercurochrome or something like that. And they He's did that for the a whole kid. group, and there were adults there, too. <clears throat> this is such cop speak. He's telling us. Yeah, story. yeah. These individuals, the two individuals, <laughs> individuals with a red substance. They I believe paint. it was mercurochrome or iodine. Mercurochrome. Who are, who are who is the they? Who is the yeah. power that made this happen? And and the kids. Was it the grown-ups or the other kids? No, the grown-ups would watch. It was actually the boys who had to do right, it. Everybody has to go to jail. Wait, wait, everybody, wait. wait yeah. you have to, we have to track down who these people are. Grown-ups would and watch. And they all have to go to as jail. As you guys would paint another kid's penis? <laughs> the story. 
Gallier actually uh, eventually ended up, uh, he was charged with molesting his daughter a couple of years later. All right. All so right. Well, now it all He doesn't need to do concurrent sentences. There needed to be some supervision. Kind of screwed up. Campsite. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Oz. We got Craig standing by. You're going to admit something? Yeah, I'm going to admit, actually. Oh, hold on. Oh. After the break. After the break. Oh, nice tease. I don't even mean to. <laughs> You're not making tease. it up. No, not at all. All right, we got a good story from Craig, uh, who's uh, trying to move up the ladder here, so he might good. be just making up shit. To, a little no, bit you got to be honest, man. For us to notice. 100%. Honest. No, the Jimmy 102% percent. Jimmy can tell. <laughs> 102% honesty, right? <laughs> right. All right. It's Opie and Anthony, Louis C.K., and, of course, whoa, Ooh, Jimmy Norton. Jimmy Norton. Hey. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That's very weird. The car parked in front of the house you grew the up in right now. car parked it. We're just like looking at, at like Google Earth. I got Google Earth on my Blackberry. Yeah. He gave me the address of where he grew up in what, 30 seconds yeah. later? Yeah. And there's an aerial photograph of that house. That he there it is. You know, yeah, and, so and obviously, but it's just this little handheld device. Years ago, that was inconceivable. Growing up as a kid, that was science fucking fiction right there. Yeah. And now it's just... Everyone takes it for granted and just kind of, wow, that's yeah. kind of cool. But you, if, unless you look back at what, what you had back then, it, the inventions aren't as amazing. Because yeah. you kind of gradually get used to these things. Yeah. But we're in this time with technology is just spitting out some unbelievable but shit. all the technology is just information technology. Yeah. Now. It is. It used to be like, here's a thing that can wash your clothes. <laughs> Look at that. It slices, it dices, it's Julianne's yeah. fries. Here's a car with a smooth ride. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, now you can see this. Now you can see this girl's asshole. Now you can. It's all information, it's which all, all means porn. Major information. That's all it is. I, I was saying, I was on, I was on one of the uh, 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 video sites last night, just two hours. Two hours going through, and I realized you could just go through. You could say I was break. watching com over here. Hysteric, no, not just break.com. I was going on a lot of, You're but yes, break.com. But, uh, like two hours of, of just going through things where you're watching maybe 50 seconds of something really funny happening, yeah. and then, uh, a minute and a half of, uh, Iraqis just being pulverized by machine yeah. gun fire. Yes. And then something else that's interesting, a little bit of history. This, mm. you're just getting these blurbs of information just shooting yeah. at your head. Well, it's nice. Like little Alex sitting there with his eyes open, yes, exactly. you know, with well, Beethoven it's playing. It's nice to know you can Ludwig program. Van. It's nice that you can program your own viewing experience now, finally. Right? Yeah, but like is that the younger, good? The younger people out there don't understand. We had to watch the shit they threw on TV for us. And yeah. now with the DVRs and everything else, and now with YouTube and Break.com, you could decide your whole viewing. We didn't even have V schedule. We didn't have no. VCRs. No. no, you had to see what's on TV. What's on? What's on the? Th what's the, on the three networks? Yeah. So, yeah, and then there was Fox, and that was two, weird. four, five, seven, sometimes eight from Connecticut, yeah. and whatever UHF channels you got. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to the phones because I don't want to lose her. It's Jennifer from Washington. Jennifer. Hi guys. Hi, what's up, Jennifer? Shitty uh, name. Not much. <laughs> Anthony does not like your name. Why? I hate your name. Because <laughs> I have to write it again. every three months. On a check? Yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> She's still using your last name, too, right? Nah, please. I'd love to get into it, for, but pending litigation right, keeps me right. from making All any right. comments I would love All to right, make. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sweetie. I'm, I'm just trying to help you out a little bit. <laughs> Let you get some of that anger out if, so you're, well, you, you're a happy were person. That if you did have a... Now, if I did write checks... <laughs> Let me ask Charlie. But I don't... <laughs> Charlie writes the hey, checks. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie wrote a check. He saw the amount on it and said, Oh, my God, OJ. All right, look. This guy has chest hair that forms into a bikini top on TV. Oh God, Didn't anyone else yeah. see that? Wow. That was bizarre. Cool. Yeah, Jennifer. It looked like a black bikini top. Jennifer. Hi. What's up, Jennifer. I um, wonder. Not much. All right, nice. And you want uh, you've called the show for? Well, I was calling because um, I actually had a gay experience when I was younger too. How old are you uh, now? Right. How old am I now? I'm 24. All right, because you sound like you're 14. I know. Sorry. And you? Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's mine. Lawyer warning you. No. no. <laughs> you all right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I know. I know you want to, but trust me on this. Yeah. All right, sorry. Go ahead, Jennifer. Um, well, when I was in third grade, my best friend and I liked the same boy. 
Yeah. Um, but we didn't really, we couldn't admit to each other that we liked boys yet because they were dirty and they had cooties and stuff. So mm, um, they we still were playing are, in babe. her basement and she had the idea that we could uh, take turns being the boy and we would like act out what we wanted to do with that. Uh, oh. Ah. Like. Wait, you would take turns being the boy? Nice. Yes, um, because she said the boy had to be on top and she knew where the boy was supposed to put it. Wow, how did she get her info? How did she know all this yeah. at such a young, um, tender age? Well, not to ruin it, but I'm pretty sure retrospectively that she was molested. <laughs> oh, she's, <laughs> well, uh, well, that's an uh, not good source. for her. That's good an for you. source of information. Information. Molesting is a... Uh, you don't learn. You might as well learn from the people closest to you. Sure. Oh, geez. <laughs> I don't know if that dump button works here. Wait, wait, wait. I would have dumped that out. <laughs> Which one? Me? Yeah. Oh, really? I think the whole road right there was a little too graphic. All right. Let's let's uh, let's keep it clean. Keep it clean. Not clean. Keep it fair. Keep it fair. Fuck the clean. Keep I mean, it fair. So did she uh, stimulate a penis with anything, or did she just bump her uh, slit against your... Um, yeah, she would use her hand. Oh, she put her hand down there. Well, she she put the thumb out straight? my hand when it was my... Yeah, she really um was quite the director. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, um... And wow, she, yeah, and so she... one hand on, on, you know, the boob, and one had to be the penis. And, um, yeah. How old were you, though? I was in third grade. I'm, I'm not sure oh. how old that makes you. I guess 10. Did you realize that a video of this would be worth billions of dollars? <laughs> 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 yeah, Jesus. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, we're going to... We're going to be responsible, and we're going to move on, because this is getting dangerous, <laughs> man. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. A anything uh, since you've been of age? Uh, I, oh, she's I, done? I, I, I was going to say I, anything sorry. since she's been of age. Yes. Yeah, Has she relived the experience? All right. Hmm. Wow. Well, now That's we got uh, Craig. Tim back there. What's up? We've been waiting through the break, so you want to admit to a few things? Yeah, a couple of things. Uh, well, I, I would like to share. All right. First, when I was... I don't remember what age, but it was before I can ejaculate. Mind if I jerk off while I oh, not a tell this? By the way, a lot of people, a couple of people saying that girl that we just had on was the same one that had sex on the phone with her ex and called her boyfriend about two to three months ago. Wow, really? She's the quintessential good egg. She's remember her? Caller. <laughs> if that was her, have her call back. Jennifer, call back. Maybe she just made uh, makes up. No, she didn't make up that other story. No. That was just real. All right. Anyway, go ahead, Craig. Sorry. Yeah. Well, what, what, what happened? This was before I could ejaculate, and obviously I would sleep over my friend's house, mm -hmm. and his bed was against the wall, and he'd set up a cot for me to sleep on, which was literally right next to him. What a fella. Oh boy. <laughs> so we woke up one morning, and we were discussing our boners. Mm. Yeah. We just well, boner we talk. You were discussing them. Well, as like, hey, look, I have a boner. Oh, so do I. That's a mine's discussion. bigger. No, <laughs> yours, just... mine's bigger. That kind of disgusting. <laughs> Sounds like there was some yeah. disgusting. Some, yeah. He made it sound so responsible. We were discussing our <laughs> boners. Discussing the boners. We were discussing, we're discussing the Middle East. Yeah. 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 With boners. Yes. As men of similar ilk would discuss a, fi a financial strategy. Having an right. interlocular. What do you call it? Inter I can't say. Interlocular. It. Interlocular discussion of <laughs> of the boner of one another's erections. <laughs> well, we were t well, we were talking about it, and he was like, "Look at mine." So I looked at his, mm -hmm. and then mm. he then I raised my blanket, and he looked at mine. Mm. Then he takes his hand and pushes my penis. Now we're, towards... in, the, we're in the present tense. This is interesting. Ah, uh, now. <laughs> then he now what he does? <laughs> Wait, he takes your he takes his hand and he points your penis. No, no, he he took my penis and pulled like pushed it towards my balls. Ow. Well, it's, well, not like bent it. He, oh. Like what? You were like... gonna fire a flaming cannonball exactly. over the fucking wall into the that's, fort? <laughs> that's exactly what he did. And he released, and we then he just watched my penis. Fucking fly back and forth like one do of those the the reason why the face. boing <laughs> sound is made for the boner exactly that's what the boing kind of vibrate then I did it to him and we constantly just did that and then he ended up like constantly yeah about like ten times each ten times going like, back and forth like you would reach over it's probably like watching two guys play speed chess <laughs> <laughs> with no board. <laughs> <laughs> so we did that a couple of times. This isn't going to end good. Well, it, that's basically that's one story. What one finally happened? Wait a minute. So how did that end? Then you just, it just it you just, did that ten times and then said, "Hey, you want to get something to eat?" Yeah. It's yeah. Just like no, who came on whose chest? Well, yeah. this was this was before I can ejaculate. Oh, okay. That's oh. The, okay. That's this yeah. is like the Clinton didn't, right. didn't inhale thing. Right. right. So you both right. just kind of pushed each other's dicks a little bit and then so let's get pushed cheese each fries. other's dicks yeah, then around. We, then we went downstairs and ate breakfast. 
Right. Like, Would you have Fruit Loops? <laughs> 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 That's so cheap and perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, and there was another time later on when I could ejaculate. Ah. Say oh, about okay. later. I'd say about a week. Thirteen. <laughs> this you... was like this was like at the peak of my masturbating. Mm -hmm. And we would you peaked at thirteen? <laughs> wow. Well, no, it was like constant every day, right, sure. every second. Sure. So it, we had another sleepover, and there was another friend involved, and we actually did the whole jerking off marathon to a porno that we got in touch with. All right. So you and you, you and the friend, you and the dick pusher. And another friend. Another one. How'd you how'd you oh. rope this other one into your? I knew that like when you jerk <laughs> off, when you first start jerking off, it it's constant every. It's like the Big Bang. Like it really <laughs> it is. Just fades until you're dead. Like your whole life is just building up to the first <laughs> come, and then you come, 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 come for like a year. Right. And then you come, 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 and then you die. That's <laughs> 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 really. Uh, but we we uh we were in my same friend's houses before. And we all just like lined up, and we all did the whole sock thing, and just sock thing. Yeah, you yeah, got you can't jerked off uh, into a like, sock. We weren't fully exposed. Knew. But how did okay. you say that? Like, who said let's all? Yeah, yeah, all that's got to be brought up by somebody. Yeah. You like, don't just do well, that. The, f the other this friend that we involved in. It's not like some board this? game available, like scruples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now it says jerk off. Jerk off in a, a sock. sock. It's like Yahtzee. If you roll yeah. two sixes, you blow your pal. <laughs> 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 the other friend that we involved, he ended up getting his hands on one of his dad's pornos. So uh, he yeah. brought it over, and we Good ended man. up just all jerking off to it. But in, into a sock. That's yeah, into into a sock. That's such okay. a brave step to go from I, watching a porno with your buddies, and then someone has to go, ah, what the hell? I'm just going to start and jacking. Himself. Now, did my... you take your socks off of your feet so everybody was like one sock, one shoe? No, Where did I, the sock the, come from? The house that I stayed at, I... I Got one of his clean socks and oh. I jerked off into his. You know what it was? It was their friend, his friend Ted, and his father was also Ted Senior, the owner of Ted's Sock Emporium. <laughs> <laughs> they specialized in crew. Um, a tube. The first time I saw porn, I was at my friend Raj's house. <laughs> I love he was him. He uses his real name. An Indian dude, and uh, his dad had a porn. It was one of those old top load VCRs called the Fur Trap. I was like thirteen or whatever. The Fur Trap. Yeah. Mm. And well, we were watching that can't be it, good at all. We were sitting on the floor of his dad's bedroom, and we were watching it, and I didn't know how it was going to affect me. It turned me on. It, it, it changed my life. I went yeah. in his parents' bathroom, but yeah. I couldn't do it in front of him. I just I laid on the bathroom floor in his parents' bathroom and jerked off all over my... It was obscene. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> obscene. The bath mat, <laughs> the the bath that, mat that his Indian parents would step on and their feet after a shower. <laughs> oh. and there. And came on myself while he watched the fur trap in the other room. My head was on tiles. <laughs> my fucking my, like my, fucking my, my Lenny Bruce. The outside, of my, <laughs> <laughs> the outside of my thigh was touching the cool porcelain base of the toilet. Sure, <laughs> sure it was. So how do you? You bring see up, again, it's like OJ's description. Like yeah. those, those are the things you remember. Yeah. How do you how do you bring it up in front of people? Like let's do this. Like I had to sneak into the other room. That's what I'm pointing. Right. Uh, I don't exactly. I remember jerking off to this video, and I remember my. My two of my friends jerking off. I don't know how it was brought up, but it had to have been just like one of us started jerking off, and it's like, hey, all right, let's all jerk off. Not e not exposed totally. Like one of my friends was under a blanket. I had the sock, and my other friend had a sock. Were the lights out. The only light was the TV flashing. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. Blue light. We gotta get some chicks to call the show, man. Let's get a little uh, a little a little manny, a little dizzy. I mean, yeah. You want more gay? Yeah, you want, what's another one? Wow. Another one. Jesus. <laughs> he really wants to no, no, this, this one. He's got like a Dewey Decimal System. Yeah, fast forward. This is like, the, this is like <laughs> that. Fast forward to 1 o'clock, <laughs> and then there was the time. And then I remember. <laughs> we're we're sleeping. Sleeping. They bring in some murderer for a traffic ticket, and he just they give him a burger and a shake, and he just tells them about Spills it. Spills his guts. Everything's Thousands going. Thousands of going. You're a killer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, why don't you end with your stairway to heaven? All right, one more story. We'll let's be, go. Uh, Here, here's the biggie. We got our lighters out. Let's go. It's when I first started going to camp, and mm -hmm. one night when all the counselors were out getting drunk, one of my friends and I sat on each other's... We sat on his bed, and he ended up just touching me and just started jerking me off. Oh. Until I, until I came... <laughs> And then <laughs> until I came. Uh, and, <laughs> that, this is so like weird. Sam is laughing. These are no longer gay, gay confessions of a, like weird things. That this is just a man who's gay telling us things. Yeah, that yeah. Gay no, men no, do like totally. his little gay yeah. sex stories. Yeah. Are you gay? It's okay if you are. No, I'm not gay. I'm totally. Oh wow. 
totally. I even like this was this <laughs> minus one, the jacking. Yeah, right. Up going. Oh, I don't know if totally would be in that uh, description. <laughs> yeah, totally is. So cool. he jacked you off. Uh, uh, hey, you could say not gay, but the totally thing is. Uh, you're sitting there. No, with not somebody. gay. You're sitting there with your buddy, and he just took a risk and grabbed your dick and tugged it until goo shot out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. Because at the time, it's the girls weren't weren't going to do it. Right, so ah, wow, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. He, of him being a pal ended up just jerking me so off. So what was I, it? What was in it for him? He got a he got a, a hand job too. From who? From me. <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> where we were going. Story, story, story at this point, told. we got to get rid of the somebody totally part. jerked him off. Who? I must have been me. Uh, <laughs> it was me. Uh, yes, it was me. Yeah, what did you just look down? It's like the fucking the hand. That's in amazing. Evil Dead too. That's amazing that you without questioning, control? without questioning, that story is this guy jerked me off. Right. Ask him two more questions, and he's we jerking. jerked each other it off. It was a mutual yeah. jerking. So you guys are doing it at the same time. Not at the same time. He did me, then so I did him. You oh, you oh, came and then I did it. You fell for that gag. Wow. <laughs> At you least he was a... doing it to get a load off. You had right. to get a load off. You just felt like, well, I can't be a cheapskate about it. Right. <laughs> At the time, I wasn't thinking of all that, you know. So. No. You're just being gay. Uh, were you, yeah, were you, being gay were you well. trying to do a good job to get it over with as quickly as possible? I was going as fast. And he deep. believes in even Steven. Yes, he does. You're an even Steven. And then, you uh, your, have you ever had your dick in another man's mouth? No. No, <laughs> but that same friend, we yeah. talked about it, and... Actually, that's after, at, no. <laughs> and then did it? <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't do it, but it was to the point where it's like, but I don't want your cum in my mouth. Oh, so. right. You worked it out logistically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That so one. How did that come up? How, who said, I don't want you? How did that pop up? He, he brought it up after. He was like, about hey, we what about it? this? And I'm mm -hmm. like, eh, I don't want to do it. And he's like, I'm like, do you mind? And he's like, eh, but I don't want your cum in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right. You the guy was working on negotiating, yeah. Well, you know, look, I'll suck for a minute, but... None of that. F so what happened? He blew you, and you said you. No, he, he didn't blow me. We we he didn't blow me at all. That would have been so jacked. That was the double hand. That fell apart in the talks. Yeah, uh, yeah, they had talks about it, but yeah, it was like the, fucking Hamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <Abbas's>. The talks. <laughs> the talks. Right. So how many times did you guys do this? Just once. Just that one night. That was and then ever since then, I Aww. haven't touched a cock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to get the gay out. We, that, wow. The women are starting to call in. That is so... Um, That's pretty good. Let's go uh, Gay. Yeah, thank you, Craig. Oh, you're welcome. That's pretty good. Thanks, Craig. Uh, you look a lot like our ex-producer uh, if he was a little fatter. <laughs> um, it, it just hit me. Do you just wash your hands all the time now, too? <laughs> well, yeah, constantly, actually. And come. Just wash your hands. <laughs> He looks like Rick, right? A uh, little bit. A little Rick. Yeah, a little bit. And you got the hat on, especially. Not bad. All right. Uh, pretty, pretty good honesty, honesty there. Hootie McBoob from Pal Talk. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hey. Ah, Hootie. <clears throat> Hello? Yes. Hello. yes. Hi, Hootie. You are on Hi. the no, airwaves. Really quick. Um, mm. It was last year. Um, I had a party at my house, and um, a whole, whole bunch of my friends came over, but then a whole bunch of them left, and there were five guys left, and me and one other girl. And it just kind of randomly started. Um, she got naked, I got naked, and and I had gone down on her, and then she went down on me, and the guys were just standing around watching us naked. <laughs> and then they end up, one guy ended up jacking off on her boobs, and I never mm. want to do that again. I didn't really enjoy going down on her, so, mm. but oh. it was very overwhelming. Did anyone jack off on you? No. No? No. Mm. Why not? Why I don't not? Know. <laughs> Why not? My husband was there, so it was like not oh, like. Oh, there. well. Yeah, my, well, my husband and I are swingers, so anybody that's listening right now is going like, "What the hell is he on the radio for?" Them? I see. Yeah, this, yes. It's uh, just a story. Yeah, which Little is nice. story about we, we the want home. the innocent it's ones good, from but the yeah, old we days. Want fringy. Yeah, let's go to John in Mississippi. John. Hey. Hey. I gotta nominate Craig's last story for hottest story ever. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> such a fucking rod. Was it the negotiations what? they were doing? <laughs> What's that? Are you being serious? Are you uh, gay? No, I'm I'm gay. Don't make oh, me a okay. bad person. No, I'm gay. gay. No, are you gay? gay? No, I'm gay. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, it's you, you are know, confused. Men, men yeah. are so full of contradiction. <laughs> I thought <laughs> every guy has some weird gay problem. No, no, I'm gay. No, I'm gay. I'm not. Gay. Did you ever get blow a guy? Well, we talked. No, we did not blow each other. We just talked about it and then we blew each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, John. I'm glad you no. liked that last one. Punching out. All right, there goes John. Yeah. Uh, changing gears slightly, we got this audio that um, is hilarious. Yes. 
The mom freaking out at a hockey game. This is the greatest thing ever. Love this. She's t- 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 being a little too serious at the uh, her son's hockey game. Yeah. When her son and some other boy on the ice get into a fight. A little this bit of a scuffle. It happens what, in hockey. This is what human beings are really like. Yeah. This is real human This person. is real human beings yes. is right there, here. Is there a video that is... Uh, you, oh, yeah. This yeah. is audio from a video? Uh, it's uh, on... Uh, yeah. Break? Get it on break. Should we put hockey, mom, fight, Something yell, like that. curse, right, whatever? We'll, we'll give you the... Uh, You'll find it. She's Start, watching a you hockey can't game. Really, her the video the isn't game. that good. It's The audio is good. Yeah. yeah. Her son's in the game. It. Yeah. Right, and, and her son gets in a fight with some, some guy. Some other player. And she uh, voices her displeasure with yeah. this uh, gentleman. There goes the hammer. And he told him to me stick. Hey! Fucking asshole. Help! Stop! He's fighting him, that motherfucker! Help! You son of a bitch! <laughs> And once again, uh, it ends. You know, there was more. Yeah, had to uh, be. But, uh, yeah, that's... So good. Isn't that great? That's so good. The screaming, the just primal... It's so Ooh, weird yeah. women that do that. They just do. scream. It's not because they're being hit or something. They just, ah, yeah. I'm upset. Yeah. What the fuck is that? So weird. Fucking cocksucker. Ah. She's wearing a windbreaker. Just throw her She's out. Kind of scrunchy in her hair. <laughs> oh, fucking... <laughs> Watching the fucking idiot that came out of her vagina getting beaten up on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. Stupid cunt. <laughs> good Bostonian gash-faced cunt. <laughs> I'm going to hate my hometown. Uh, all right, we're going to break, then we'll uh, finish the show next. Louis C.K., his DVD comes out Tuesday from his HBO special, Shameless. Yes, Shameless. Is now on DVD. Well, we'll be out on DVD uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. All right. And, uh, I'm on Conan tomorrow. I just oh, yeah, oh, I forgot. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, 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 we'll forget. Oh, I look at him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that guy. Conan thing. Yeah, Conan. How many have you done, Conan? You've done a lot. Right? I have a shitload. I was the first comedian to do Conan. I was writing on the show when they started. So. you done more than 10 Conans? Yeah, not nice. by a lot, long shot yet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. By the way, um, Jimmy was telling the story about um, sushi with uh, Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was a great. That was a fun night, and we got him his, his Alan Alda. You oh, yes, it. yeah. He told the whole yeah. story. On oh, the that's air. great. That oh, he really told that we, we were so happy to do that for him. It was like a fucking dying. But kid then Matthew brought was like Matthew's <laughs> offering. Like, what? Do you want me to help? Yeah, you get he goes, it? I want to help. He was invested in it. He <laughs> wanted it to happen too. My favorite part of the whole thing uh, was the um, Alan Alda, yeah. where Jimmy goes up and discusses um, some of the language that was used on, right. on MASH and how yeah. it was like cutting edge and broke mm-hmm. barriers back then, and Alan Alda was like into it and mm-hmm. and really got into the story and explaining it to Jimmy and what it was like back mm-hmm. then with the censorship, and then Jimmy took it too far and had to mention another MASH episode, and then he realized he had lost Alan. <laughs> it wasn't, but it wasn't, I love that. I don't think it happened like it, you it, thought it, no, it no, did. It did. It was just a little bit, nothing major, but yeah. I, I sense that he yeah. went, eh. All right, All right enough. Eternally, you I had. gave you enough of my time. Exactly, our moment is over. Alan all might have not been true. Alan all this thing, and I think I might have found a new friend. This is good. Yeah. And then, like, uh, yeah. And Jimmy just goes, I'll walk blood away. children in a sitcom. <laughs> oh, God. And internally, he went, ah, uh, 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 Fucking uh, linoleum <laughs> floor somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bleed out, you fucking chinless yeah. pig. He hated me. No. He told me that he listened to you, he listened to my, you guys' show because he listened to clips that I had of uh, me and Bill Donahue and some other stuff on my website. Right. And he said, those guys sound really intelligent. They're very oh, thoughtful. Uh-oh. I enjoyed it. Wow. Yeah, he liked your show. God that damn. Yeah, he told me the same thing, too. Alan Alda. Alda. When Alan and I were chatting. Yeah, it was pretty good. When you and Alan, we were well, Every time his mouth moves, I'm like, that's Alan Alda talking. Yeah, it's really weird. It's weird. Uh, yes. So when he did that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. My chin goes very high up when I speak. <laughs> he was very nice. He He's was a really cool. good guy. Uh, and he looks like a psychopath in the movie. He's so funny, too. Yeah. Cool. We had a funny. Uh, I, uh, we were having lunch, and I was told him about my dad telling me about sex. Because my dad explained to me how to make a woman come. <laughs> by teasing her like my dad gave me this sort of european how you know the art of love making i was like 10 
And he said that his mom was very similarly inappropriate. He asked his mother what sex was when he was 10, and she said, it's wonderful, Alan. <laughs> Which was an awful thing to hear. Ugh, yeah. And then so we're technical. talking about sex and stuff, and then he said, hey, I have to go to my trailer and jerk off now. <laughs> <laughs> that was great that Hawkeye made that joke. All right, let's, uh, let's go to All break. Right. Uh, on the instant feedback, Adam W., this is a good one from Columbus. How did gay or funny just turn into that's gay as hell? <laughs> yeah, funny one. Yeah, it really Left did. a long time Dude, ago. You, I'm telling you, we are going to have fucking jizz races. <laughs> yes. Jizz race. Do you, honestly, uh, we could probably find five... Yeah, brave souls out. There. Or you could do Dick Rorschach, where you take like I was describing a, pe a plate, of, any plate of glass. Yeah, smush your dick against it, and people say and say what it looks what like, they and see then it. analyze them. Yeah. That's very funny. Well, the same guys we could get. How about this? They have to jerk off in studio. Yeah. And but they have to do it while looking at awful pictures. <laughs> like <laughs> like how about pictures right. of syphilis vaginas <laughs> yes. or pictures of shit? All right, burnt, now you're on on bodies. I could be part of that. And, and then I, I, I would the feel finish line first. Yeah. Those yeah. Jones Town yeah. bodies all laid next to each other so in the that, 70s. Well, that's with, kind of hot. With awful, yeah, actually... with awful th we can't touch them or, like, hassle them. Touch hey, them. Up, I mean, we like, can't them. touch them? Can, can we... Jesus, did you even have to say that? How do you throw stuff at me? You think I would want to throw something at somebody's limp cock while they're jerking off? <laughs> Wait, how do you not? Can, can we do, uh, can we have a lot of events like Jizz High Jump? Got to have the Jizz Olympics. Well, the jizz High jizz Jump. Olympics. <laughs> jizz Olympics. Jizz Olympics. I like yeah. it. Jizz High Jump. <laughs> jizz Olympics. Yeah. Yeah, no, you put a bar up. You yeah, see, that's yeah, exactly what I'm getting. Bar, and then the other guy's got to go. Oh, this could take a while, though. Yeah. But they have to, like, jerk off, and, like, we're playing, like, audio from the fucking dentist scene from the marathon man. <laughs> it's like the I like it, Or you make them, you switch, like, a bait and switch. Like, you, if we get a girl with big tits to stand there, and then right before they come, some old ladies, they have to come on an uh, old right. Or big, hairy ass. They have to come while finish? Patty is in the room talking to them. Something awful. Uh, eh. Wow, that would be good for Patty. She's never seen yeah. action right. like that. All right, ask the, ask the bosses if uh, this is uh, this is uh, legal. <laughs> just just oh, Olympic, or or just uh, uh, Jimmy's. Uh... Jizz races, thanks to that caller. Jizz racing. By, by the way, your vagina has uh, talent. I think is going to happen finally. Oh, thank God. We're doing uh, things with vaginas. Mm -hmm. so your vagina has talent. talent. Yeah, that's yeah. coming to the OA. Isn't Excuse it me, so on. your vagina has talent? So, yeah. Because so, the yeah. so is very yeah. important to that. It, it just, yeah, your vagina has talent as well. But so your vagina has Who's talent. talent yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I like Can it Can I point out the phoniest thing I've ever seen? This is from Iraq. Steve, uh, do they really want me to ask XM about this? This is queer. <laughs> Steve C. Steve C. Nathan Lane is more convincing <laughs> talking about how hot a pussy is. <laughs> <laughs> this is queer. <laughs> that just seems queer to me. I don't know. Oh, maybe why. he's like, do they really want me to ask XM about this? And then he's signing it. This is queer, Steve C. <laughs> 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 it's, it's all how you look at it. Just so you know who's talking. Yeah. This is, this is queer, Steve C. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is you, queer, you Steve C. You removed the, the period and the uh, slash. Yeah, and, yeah yes. it looks a little different. We'll have <laughs> approval in 15 minutes or nine days. <laughs> I'll go check. Do you want me to ask about this or just not ask about it and assume things? <laughs> What? <laughs> Tell Louis C.K. We want to do so your vagina has talent, and they had no problem with everything. We yeah. we gave them some of the things these women were going to do with their vaginas, right? And then we were going to do uh, what what is, what is it called with the maze with the finger? That's the one they had the problem with. Mm. The, what is it called? Rube Goldberg. Rube Goldberg. Oh, yeah. a Rube uh, Goldberg yeah, yeah. kind of <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah contraption, <laughs> right? With the vagina involved. So and, and you to finger the vagina. The... So yeah. it's going to be this long involved thing right. with uh, with uh, like you light a match and it makes a string break. And yeah, it a and then the the, it's, the it's boot a, kicks the bucket over and the right. water hits a water wheel and, and it's right. a cue ball that rolls down. His cue yeah, sticks and at and the end <laughs> a rubber finger <laughs> will will insert in the vagina. Just yeah. a little poke. And that's what they had a problem with. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The insertion. Why? I don't know. They're yes, afraid they would have gone into our cunt at two hundred miles an hour. Or something and injure her. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, they had a problem with it because they were hoping it would be a guy's ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Hello, this is Queer Steve Z. <laughs> Where is Queer Steve Z? That's just fucking, if he was running for president, that would be the, the Secret Service's code name for him. <laughs> Queer Steve C. Dude, we have, one, we have one guy that's brave enough. Tony from Beth Page. Is on the line. He wants to do this. Oh, oh yeah. Bunch of people. We'll you want to talk to him now or brave after the break? enough? Gay or brave is going to yes. be amazing.
We have to have a few guys because you're not going to be jerking off to gay things. All right, let's That's go the to, beauty of it. Let's go to hey, Tony. What's going on, Tony? Hey, Tony. Hey, man. Tony Hello? Baloney, what's you, up? You're on the ass, sir. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm up for this. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. Why not? You'll throw a batch out. A bunch of a bunch of guys. In bunch of in front of a bunch of guys. In front of a bunch of guys. Thanks, Jimmy. Talk. Are you there? You're breaking up, guys. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. the phone. Uh, oh, whatever. I'm sure he'll be happy. You know, stalker Patty will be there. <clears throat> so, what are you doing? She has to read sexy things. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't we get uh, stalker Patty's review on the porn movie? Let's get what? her on the phone. That's what? how we'll end today's show. What? Let's do that next. Uh, she watched the porno. Well, we we sent her to the peep shows. Uh, oh, that's right, and we uh, had her uh, buy a porn. And she's supposed to give us a review. Well, I watched it. It was very exciting. We'll see if she's around. We'll... So dirty and weird. We'll Ugh. talk to her next. The virus is spreading. All right. Before we get to line of the day, why don't you make the music even louder, please? What? Holy crap. What? Uh, maybe it sounds fine over the air. I don't know. Yeah, it probably does. Maybe all the processing, all, all the... Equaled out. All the uh, equipment that this stuff goes through makes it good. But to me, I feel like I'm being blasted out. Before line of the day, we're going to talk to Starker Patty here. Starker Patty for her 52nd birthday. Uh, we surprised mm -hmm. her with a little shopping spree, Louie. A shopping spree to the old peep shows. Peep show. To go to the peep uh, show? One of those video stores. We uh, we uh, dragged her in there live on the air. She had no idea. Mm -hmm. She really thought she was going to Macy's or, or some clothing store. What did we let her pick Where out? They still have peep shows. Uh, we found one like uh, Danny, Danny found it. They're being pushed really? to the avenues. They're kind of off of Times Square now. you got to kind of walk a couple of blocks. Mm -hmm. I used to work in Times Square, and that was... I actually was Oof. really grateful that Giuliani shut them down. <laughs> yeah. Because they were eating my life. A lot of people are like, Giuliani ruined New York, no, man. It's thank like God. It's like Disney down there yeah. now. You know something? No, I was taking three-hour lunches, <laughs> just <laughs> shopping, trying to find a hand job. Because they had real girls in there, and some <laughs> of them didn't have glass in the window, and you could get a girl to reach in and jack you off. Hey, nice. And I used to just go from window. Can I get a hand job? Nope. Okay, next window. <laughs> just <laughs> oh my God. I'm lately asking for it. Hey, uh, hand up, hand up. No. Hey, let's you're just the, you're to... at a fucking McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Could you leave? Let's just <laughs> cut to the chase here, all right? <laughs> all right, sorry. Uh, let's talk her, Patty. We, uh, we, we brought her into one of these places, and mm. she got to pick out whatever she wanted. A little shopping yeah. spree. That's nice. And she brought a, a porn movie home, and uh, we want her to review it. Uh, stalker her, Patty. Hi. Uh, hi, Patty. How are you today? I'm fine. Who gives a shit? <laughs> so now you went on your shopping spree. Did you get a movie and something else, or just the movie? I forgot. Yes, I did. I got Granny's Gone Wild because I'd have something I could relate to age-wise. You're a And then the other thing was some kind of uh, toy. It had an elephant, oh w you know, with the trunk. That oh, there was clitoral stimulation around. also. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was vaginal and clitoral stimulation. Yeah. So they're tusks that uh, yeah, hopefully jam up your taint. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking hit you right in there. <laughs> Make you bleed. <laughs> Would, well, did it have one? So do you, um, you, watched the, you watched the movie? Yes, I did watch you the movie. You did. Now, were there men in this movie? Was, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? It's, it's uh, hard yes. to hear you. Uh, were there men in this movie along with the uh, women? Yeah, there were like women over 70 and there were men <laughs> under 30. All righty. Now, Patty, have yes? you ever seen a dirty movie before this? Not really. I, I, I was expecting Red Shoe Diaries, though. I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Dan likes that. <laughs> Dan just laughs at the reference. Because she never disappoints. She's just awful on so many levels. She really is. Uh, you were expecting what? Red, Red Shoe Diaries. Diaries. Was that on Showtime or something? Yeah, it was, it was like soft, soft porn, soft right? Soft porn. Oh, middle, Patty, a saxophone. no. A lot of saxophone music. Them. Yeah, yeah. You know. I removed a blouse. Slow touching through a foggy lens. Wait, yeah. Let's ask uh, Patty. What was uh, Red Shoe Diaries all about? 
Red Shirt Diaries always had a storyline. It involved oh, the guy in the nice. beginning with the dog and the oh, letter. He would good. read it and then it go into story. the story of the breakup or what the uh, whatever, the relationship. You mm. know, it was kind of fun and interesting. And you really oh, thought sure. Granny's Gone Wild was going to be just like that? Yeah, I thought it had a storyline, a plot, you know. Yeah, Maybe it starts yeah. with Grandma baking cookies, and then yeah, the mailman yeah. comes, and then she he says, the mailman, the mailman in for a cookie, and then one thing leads to another. That's what I was mm. expecting, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah, well, you got uh, a phone ring. Like what that. did you expect? Mini Pearl to pop in and then be fucked oh, by Yakutoto? I'm sorry, Koto? I'm on the work <laughs> phone. <laughs> you're at the. You're on the well. work phone. Well, yeah. sorry. Oh, never gonna... mind, never mind. It's been answered. Yeah. There's another phone yeah. out. Don't worry about yeah. the your job or anything. But anyway, um, okay, I'm with you. Now, now, Patty, yeah. uh, you watched the movie. You yeah. actually got to see sex from the beginning to the end, right? The, you saw yeah, the end result? Yeah, that's all they did. Now, did you uh, see... Uh, dirty um, folks on that you porno, got... porno tape. <laughs> What's wrong with them? You got to see uh, uh, men ejaculate for the first time? Is that the first time you've seen that? Well, yeah, there was some of that in it. It was kind of disgusting. I had to close my eyes a couple times because I'm not mm, used to that. Once or twice you had to close the eyes, huh? Close my eyes. What, you're not used to seeing jizz come out? It was, it's disgusting. Mm. Would you catch some of that in your mouth and make the yummy noise? No. <laughs> not Wait, me. Patty, would you, would you be comfortable with that being in your uh, vagina? I don't know. Things How about never uh, in your anus or between your toes? You know, maybe. I'm sure. Oh, with her know. corn chip Instead toenails. <laughs> Fritos corn chip toenails with jizz dripping off of them. <laughs> oh, Patty. Yeah. So you close your eyes when, what, the guy was ejaculating? Well, when I saw that on the film, yeah, it wasn't pleasant to look at. Mm. <laughs> Now, uh, you saw uh, men in an ex a, si a state of excitement? Yeah, and it's disturbing. They were old enough to be their great-great-grandsons, I swear. They were less than 25 years old, a couple Did of Did they them tool the some film. of these old bags up the ass? I don't know. I don't. You would think that they would want to go out with somebody their own age and not go out. Go out. With it's not a me. fucking documentary on dating. <laughs> it's a porn with. movie. Yeah, these are guys who had to inject rocket fuel into their cocks to get them to budge for these old bags of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you understand they were fucking cadavers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's practically what was going on. Mm. Now, Patty, did you feel anything when you watched this? Any excitement uh, in your uh, lower abdomen or something? Did you feel like... Did uh, your breathing change? Yeah, were you feeling a little excited? Not really, no. I didn't feel anything. I was like, no. oh, just all this is. And then I turned it off in the middle because that's all they were doing, you know. Well, how are you going to find out what happened? Exactly. Yeah, Who done yeah it? I know what happened <laughs> probably <laughs> like, from the beginning to the end. It's the same oh, thing. Who that's gave the old lady a happened. pink sock? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. God. It's a fucking who, who done it. Hey, <laughs> Patty, how much of the movie did you watch? About three quarters of it. All of first of all, they played the yes. first eight three commercials, quarters. and they were all like, Ooh, Someone in this room Ooh, came I'm on her face. It was man. Remington yes. with his Ooh, fist in the asshole the in the study. That's right. Hey, Patty, do you, do, do you usually just keep babbling when you realize no one's listening to you and we're having a conversation? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking, Patty. I'm sorry. I can hardly hear you. You sound far away. We are, Patty. Yeah. We're blocks and blocks away. This is not one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. Uh, in all fairness, we still got to fix the phones. If we're going to have True. this set up for the next month, let's get everything right. Please. Yeah, the Patty. phones aren't going out. Loud uh, all right, all right, Patty. Yeah. I, I heard uh, through uh, you know you stomping on everyone's great lines there that uh, there were what commercials before the movie started. Yes. And what were they for? Now what? you're going to shut up? What were the commercials for, Patty? Oh, one homes. of them was like uh, dating service, <laughs> escort services, oh. and this and that, you know. You know, this and that. phone services where you call in and hear a live lady on the phone. The same eight or nine commercials. A live and then lady. it went into the production, <laughs> whatever, the page, and then it went back into the same eight or nine commercials. Ah, uh, yeah. And what was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, I was, that? like, sort of making fun of some of the ladies, though. They were kind of funny going, ew. 
ooh, I'm looking for a man, ooh, you know, like making those noises and everything. Oh, that What's kind of made me them? laugh. Exactly. Yeah. That's terrible. What's <laughs> wrong with those old cunts? A life lady. <laughs> hey, hey, Patty, can we get you an escort? An escort? Yeah, what if you get a fine young gentleman escort? Where would I be escorted to? Oh, my oh, God. The end of your virginity? Yes. Yeah, exactly. A motel and a fucking crisis center. <laughs> a what? <laughs> Patty. Yes? We, we want you to maybe be involved in a, a thing we're doing at XM where guys are going to jerk off. And see who could uh, blow a load Jizz first. Jizz races. Jizz races, we call it. And uh, You would be there as sort of an obstacle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're part of the obstacle course. One big yes. obstacle. You're like the tires. You're the civilian that pops up in the shooting gallery. <laughs> You're the sergeant that <laughs> fires an AK over their heads. <laughs> <laughs> the civilian that Jimmy pops up in the shooting school. gallery. Uh, he uh, shot a good guy. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Patty, so would you, be, uh, <laughs> would you be interested in that? You'd have to look at now. What you saw those guys doing on, on video, you'd have to kind of see that in real life when they... Uh, uh, shoot that uh, gooey stuff. But the good news is that you'd be trying to stop the jizzing from happening. Yes. And your presence works as... You're like a superhero. Yes. <laughs> Deterrent. Your Ooh. radiation on the cancer of fun. <laughs> <laughs> your voice right, and it's... appearance make nobody want to ejaculate. You make semen turtle. <laughs> it dries up like cottage <laughs> cheese you in someone's balls. semen turn around and go back where it came from. Yes. You actually have sperm crawl back into a dick hole and, and hide. Each individual sperm screams like it just saw Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> and then they... Ah, a ghost! And then runs back yeah, into the jizz scared. sack. Patty, you make semen swim back up into the vast deverns and try to get and shit the out. balls explode. <laughs> Basically, they're saying you have no use at, at being yeah. a... No sex appeal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Patty, would you be uh, into that? <laughs> would I... So yes or no? I mean, just like yeah. it in a observation yeah. type thing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, you would yeah. watch them do it and kind of talk to them and comment on their dicks or something. And I'll tell you, maybe I'll, read from something. Yeah, All read right, from I'll play something. Along. All right, uh, all right. Oh, that I'm was ours. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's let's see how far we can take this. Now, Patty, yes. what if one of these guys let loose in your hair? I no. Would give, I would give you a hundred dollars. You know that's very what good you for your hair. What do you who do you what do you think she is? It's protein. And, and you can take a shower right after, but I'll give you a hundred dollars. Wow. A lot of money, Patty. I'd give you, you need money, food. and it's safe. You can't catch any diseases if you take it on the hair. Oh, yeah, it's totally safe. Yeah, it is safe. We want to cut your scalp with a razor first, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and invite Magic Johnson to the <laughs> contest. No, but that's a good idea, dude. That's a good idea. Yeah, what idea. do you say? You take, uh, you take, uh, you know. Take a batch of the I hair. Take a batch of the hair. I believe this is uh, soliciting uh, prostitution, no, by the not. way. it's for a film. <laughs> certainly is. <laughs> no, it's not. It certainly is. Of course it is. Pornography is legal. Is it? If we film it and she's an actress? It's a movie, absolutely. We're and we were paying her as an a, a, porno, a pornographic actress. She's not having sex with anybody. Yeah, it's, it's just silly. You can't get arrested for being yeah. silly. Yeah, it's very silly. Yeah? Yeah, silly is, is, is safe. But if I got a hooker and paid her 100 bucks to jerk off on her? As long as there's a camera. Yeah, exactly. I right. wouldn't do that. Yeah. So why don't the girl? Why don't why don't hookers just always have a camera with you them? Some, it's, it's illegal to film in New York porn, I think. Yeah. Uh, Seriously. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to see New how York, we can New York. get through this. Uh, Patty, you're actually a, you're a natural saltpeter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're a tumbleweed blowing across. It's, you know, it's hard to cops. hear you. Yeah, I know. We're smashing you, <laughs> Patty. <laughs> yeah. Patty, <laughs> good. Maybe not your hair, but how about like on your tits? What if the guys jerk off on your tits? You might be the one person who would mind the tits less. Hmm. Wouldn't be in your hair. I say hair. It'd wash it's off much, easier. Hair is much funnier. No, but tits are funny because you could just fucking miss I'll... and hit her right in the mouth. Oh, my God. How funny would that be? All over her face, bukkake. All right. <sighs> um... All over those glasses and her chiclet teeth. <laughs> Fuck. Those That'd be funny. Hard. We're basically complimenting um, you. Oh, hello? Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, um, Starbucks. Can, I'm going to have to continue this another time, okay? What, work or this call? Yeah. Because i got to go. We're getting busy. Where are you, you working? Where are you working? I'm at Starbucks. I'm about Starbucks. to leave from okay. my shift. 
Yeah. All right, you're talking about getting jerked off on and someone's waiting for a latte. <laughs> yeah. She can't look yeah. at the soy milk the same way again. Now I know what's going on when I'm at Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. Some ladies on the phone. Come on. Yeah, she's telling fucking jizz stories. <laughs> Fielding offers. All right, go go work. Don't lose your fucking job. Because we don't feel like paying you. All bills. right, I'll get back to you, okay? All right. Yeah, yeah you think, think about it. it. You think it over, Patty. Yeah, you All right. Out. Have tea with a friend and get some advice. Throw a few lattes Alrighty. on your chest and uh, let us know how it feels. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. 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 All right. Uh, bye, bye, bye. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Let's uh, let's do line of the day. Line of the day. Let's do line of the day, and we'll get out of here. Louis C.K.'s DVD uh, Shameless comes out Tuesday. His HBO special. Wow. Three runner ups. Three runner ups. Yes. All right. Let's do a runner up line of the day. Shameless. He is though, right? Nope. Oh, oh, there was a pause mm, there. The pause. Mm. We know all about the pause. I don't mean the pause that you're, you know, cutting, cutting off. Can we? That's not about the dumpsters. pause and there are marks on your back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put oven mitts on all the German shepherds. <laughs> you know, <laughs> scratch <laughs> <margin>. <laughs> at least let the cats watch. I love the oven mitts on the dog. Oh, pretty good. Oh, what a picture that conjures up. You gotta tape them because the dog wants to take them off. <laughs> they look and, all he, and he walks across the room all funny like he's yeah. goose stepping because he's got oven mitts on his paws. He's got that weird look on his face. Why are you doing this to me? What is this? <laughs> like he loves fucking her, but he hates the silly hand wear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, do another runner up line of the day. Mm -hmm. My clothes all wet with white stuff. And Charlie was Is this my, my cum? <laughs> Did I come? <laughs> Pretty good. <sighs> the OJ getting jizzed on. Yeah. I love it. One more runner up line of the day. There was a family of like it's nice people that look <laughs> retarded like, people. Yeah, it was like the I forget their names, but they all had Down syndrome, like all these kids. <laughs> Finagles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that a good one? Yeah, that was a Jimmy's doozy. Jimmy's quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, poor E-Rock. Hey, E-Rock, no, one last love chance. Him. Bud Rub? No. Come on. Come on, don't be a queer. No. Come on. Let's have some fun. I know Craig would <laughs> butt rub you. Yeah. Know. <laughs> That's him funny. nervously drinking. Come on, E-Rock. For you, the show. Oh. I'll buy you a new Nike hat. Oh, mm. butt rub for Nike. You have a butt hat. disease you want to give Jimmy? Uh oh. No. You Something got cranky that? ass? No. Cranky ass? Yeah, no. he didn't wipe. A little yeah, cranky. Cranky because there hasn't been a cock in it yet. <laughs> it's like me with my coffee. <laughs> you can't talk to his asshole till a dick has been inside of it for a little while. <laughs> I was going to say, let you put the dick in your coffee or something. No, no, no. <laughs> with a cup of coffee in the morning, right? Yeah. You need your coffee. Yeah. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> hold on. Please hold. <laughs> Thank you. Here is your line of the day. Here comes. comes la 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 la. Line of the day. Line of the day. Line of the day. La la la. The la, 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 la. dramatic. Do they really want me to ask XM about this? And then he's signing it. This is queer, Steve C. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, but. Uh, the Darn. beginning was cut off. Wasn't hey, it? hey, 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 hey. What? When the beginning of that cut off? <laughs> Did they cut off the beginning? Yes, sir. All right, why don't we do it again? Here's today's. Uh, line. To get on. We'll start all over. Here's today's line of the day. That's the whole thing? I thought there was more before that, like, where we actually that's talked the about the, the line actual. line of the day bit where thing. we don't explain the lines. Oh, right. It was a very good line. It was an extremely good line. You never know it hearing at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the beauty of the bit. Where you don't hey, explain. as long as it's a victory it's in my uh, column, there I'm fine go. with it. It was a context line of the day. Yes. Oh, good one. All right. You rock? Butt rub? Come on. Come on. What Take us out with a butt rub. What better way to end the show? This was a great show. Take us out with a butt rub. No. Butt rub. Jimmy, would you take a butt rub from anyone else in the room? Don't look at me, please. In this room, uh, yeah, any of you guys I would, but nobody else. Uh, oh, no one outside studio? No, because they're going to send that fucking intern in here who could, who'd love to. <laughs> he'd love to. It's not to. fun if you love to. Craig would, would not only do it, but he'd do it off mic, like once the show is over. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want to do it on the radio. At 4.30, we'll meet in butt rub somewhere. <laughs> A rest fucking, stop? Yeah. Wants to meet in fucking Washington Square Park. <laughs> 
Nobody? Eric, butt rub? Butt rub? Come on. If I had to choose, I would take Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, God. It's going to suck when we ha when we order him to do it. I, I really don't want it to get to that. I know. Like, if he just would do it, it wouldn't get to the awkward point of us making him do it. By the it's way. It's a terrible thing to take to your next job interview. So yeah. why did you leave your last <laughs> position? Because I wouldn't rub my ass against uh, another guy's ass. Yeah, yeah. By the way, um, uh, people feel chipped today because they didn't really get to hear the darn after line of the day. Oh. It was there, but it was weak in the background, mm -hmm. and we all talked over it. And <laughs> Tomorrow. Darn. Uh, there you go. <laughs> From the cell phone, how great is it that uh, talking about jizz in her hair with Stalker Patty and she has to ask a customer if he wants one or two shots? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess. I don't think we get Sam, no butt rub? You're no, just the camera guy. He's just guy. here with his camera. You're just the camera guy for butt rub. He's camera. <laughs> Waiting right. for his fruit roll up for dinner <laughs> and jujubes. <laughs> yeah, what's for lunch today? Yeah, what are you having for lunch there, Russ? Uh, we, we never ask the lunch question, always the do. dinner question. Peanut butter sandwich. You oh, your life. Cut into four squares? Every day, right? Peanut butter and fluff? Off. He eats peanut... No, just peanut butter. Oh. No. Just peanut butter sandwich. Yes, uh, Iraq? Bud Rob? Stupid Travis oh. is going to get my lunch out of my bag. So... Out of my bag. Bag. My bag. That's not his fucking <laughs> lunch. You've done it. Oh it God! And then three Oreo, Oreo cookies. Why three? Ah, oh. that's what. It, well, three. Who is did what this? It, the perfect my girlfriend. It, your girlfriend did this? Yes. She was very upset last time when you smushed it. <laughs> yes, Jimmy actually smushed it. Last. Did he really? <laughs> she was really sad when Jim smushed it. She's gonna get upset again. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy just punted it. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, what happens when we mess up your lunch? You can't just go out there and get eight eight year old food in Manhattan. Not on the street. Nobody else makes Aww, it. No poor one makes Sam. Eight food. Oh, he looks really like he's ready to cry. Yeah, right. How are the Oreos doing after that? You can still eat that. Yeah, that's edible. Yeah, that's edible. I don't think the bag, uh, the bag uh, broke. I'm not, I actually, I'm not going to step on the sandwich. I'm not really paying him twenty bucks like I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> you really? Eat it. <laughs> the twenty dollar fucking sandwich, no. dude. Butt rub his sandwich. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just, he's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Here you go. Okay. Thank you, E-Rock, for this. Yeah, thanks, E-Rock. This, oh, is, this is how we end the show, like men. <laughs> there you go. He's, <laughs> he's rubbing a piece of butter in his ass. <laughs> he puts it back in. He's, he puts it back in like no one's going to notice. Oh. <laughs> Jess, oh my God. Jess is going to be very upset. She got so sad last time. We better call her tomorrow. Oh, my God. We better get a Jess, Jess update tomorrow. Peanut butter up his ass. It looks like he makes that himself. He dresses like his mother and then makes that. <laughs> <laughs> he's like fucking... He's like here, Stallone. Here. He's like Stallone. Uh, he walks yeah. dress. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was believable. Yeah. Well, All right. You can't even eat the cookies now. They're oh, contaminated. No. They're crushed. Like yeah, fucking, I, you think I can't crush cookies by kicking them? No, I know they're crushed, but if they, they're in a separate bag, they're in a separate bag, so you bait. can take them and eat them. But now they've been contaminated with your ass. Yeah, the whole thing. You is, go hungry yeah. today. No one's gonna pick through that for what's <laughs> no. still edible for a tasty. <laughs> no, no, Jimmy, Jimmy, this part, Jimmy not, not today. Bad. Make him go hungry. Yeah, I can't make yeah he could have. use with losing a few pounds. He's getting a little chunky. Vegas ten. Jimmy has paid more for rubbing his ass on people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, uh, let's thank Louis C.K. He Absolutely. Nice Always a pleasure, Louis. Nice Shameless on DVD this uh, coming Tuesday. That's right. Pick Our listeners up. will be picking that up like crazy, Louis. Thanks, guys. Guaranteed. Uh, and, Jimmy, thanks for the great ending. We needed uh, a great ending. Cause, but, but uh, you know, you rock. It's all about him. It's yeah. about the show. It's all Obviously. about him. Obviously. Sandwich, butt rub. Remember, I remember the days you would do stuff <clears> for the show. <clears throat> Yeah, it's all about him. It's no longer the Opie and Anthony show. It's just Eric's desires. He probably has a right. rash or something. Do you, you have diaper rash? No. Adult diaper something. rash? What, what's pimp, the reason? Pimp, pimply butt? Prickly heat? What's the reason? Um, as painful as it was to do it last time, the ending was not very pleasant. Did I fart on you? Oh, it was hot and disgusting. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I forgot part. about that little I treat. Right, and okay. I fired one on his asshole. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's little he might be on to something, Jimmy. So he actually had to fart your fart out at one point. <laughs> exactly. Probably, yeah. Some of it seeped in. You didn't <laughs> keep the fucking fart basically he's, else's gas. Basically, he's saying you didn't keep it fair last time. That's horrible. I, I hit below the belt. <laughs> I fucking cut a gaster right in the 
his juicy, rapeable asshole. <laughs> Didn't you try to turn around too? There was something else that you were he trying to do. He raped his down. asshole with a with a with gap gas. dick. <laughs> with the most basic of elements. <laughs> I, I wanted to turn around and smack his ass with my dick, but I was like afraid that could be a human resources issue. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get in oh, trouble. But butt rubbing's okay. It's harmless. Yeah. Yeah. Butt rubbing. Your dick. Elo would have an issue yeah. with that. He'd probably be mad that I didn't do it That's to him. That's true. That gas. <laughs> fart is a fart is a gas, but everything has it must have a solid and liquid form too. Mm. Mm. If you yeah, wrap what? that uh, fart in uh, something and maybe like, pressurize you it could or condense it into different a temperature. You could actually get liquid it. fart. Yeah, and drink it. Or remember, solid fart. Yeah, I understand wow. E-Rock's stance at this point. How's now. that done? I forgot about the fart thing, Jim. I'm fascinated now. You There's have to it. I'm gonna go to the lab after this. You can't get a grant for that, so nobody's <laughs> no. E-Rock felt the warm air. <laughs> he felt it. Oh, was it one of those? <laughs> no, where it just goes. <laughs> It was one of those moments where you felt you'll never be clean again. It was loud. Yeah. It was like a... <laughs> right? It was hot and loud. Everything a fart should be. If you were going to write a song about a fart, that would be the one. Like, Bette Midler sang about that one. Bob Dylan wrote a fart. Hot and loud. An anthem about that fart. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> great. That's good. Now I understand why he might have been a little why shy Why did they make the it. noise when... I always thought it was like your cheeks kind of bouncing together. Mm. But if you spread your ass cheeks, it makes it a does. tooting noise. What the fuck? <laughs> What's? I think you'd only spread like the anus, but yeah. your sphincter probably is still puckered oh, enough to make that there. sound okay, a little yeah. inside. Yeah, like okay. one of those balloons when you let yeah, it yeah. a little bit. Correct. Yeah, you could, you could. So that's going on inside. Yeah. All right. You ever have an internal fart? Where yeah, it, sure. it's an actual sound, like a, yeah. but yeah. it's inside your it's stomach. The other anus. That's in your, yeah, you inside. In. It kind of just going yeah. through another asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Through your Sometimes intestine. if I don't eat right, I start shitting in my stomach into my own bloodstream. <laughs> <laughs> when I don't eat right. <laughs> yeah. When I don't have my first food groups. Yeah. Uh, Reading from Whackbag, E-Rock uh, doesn't want to touch butts because E-Rock has diarrhea from the fat smash diet. Could be. Explosive does. diarrhea? No. How's that going for you? Good? Good. Good man. You're running out of days, you know. Yep. What, next, uh, next Thursday. That's no, it. This... Next Thursday? Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Every shitty well, cake looks like rice pudding. <laughs> How many pounds do you got to lose in a week? Um, I think I got about six more, five, six more pounds. Oh, that's mm, that's the hardest. It's the hardest. <clears throat> it's the Dr. Ian Smith bet. We'll talk about that tomorrow. We're going to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. The last ton is always the hardest. <laughs> oh, <come laughs> I'm on. teasing my buddy Iraq. He knows he's my friend. You coming on the boat this fourth? I don't know, maybe. Well, fuck you then. Go fuck yourself. Like last year wasn't fun enough. You want some drunk driving, some fun? Come on. To what? The boat. What boat? Billy Max boat. We take it out uh, on uh, the East River there and go by that. the UN and watch the fireworks. Can I go? If you want to, yeah, you're cordially invited. Maybe I'll bring my broad. Bring your broad with you. Maybe I'll bring my broad. I'm getting car service because I should have gotten life in prison um, <laughs> last time for how I drove drunk. I want to say to everybody, never do that. But I actually, it wasn't good enough to just drive drunk and try to be safe. I raced from about Shea Stadium into Midtown Manhattan. Uh, were we down to? I have no idea where we were. I know we were somewhere in Manhattan. I remember going through a tunnel. Did we take the tunnel or the bridge? Yeah, I have no tunnel. idea. <clears throat> I was hammered. e trying to remind you that you went to New York City to play fuse ball, because that's fuse how you write that word. Fuse ball. Yeah, that's what I was playing. <laughs> Big bomb that you light and throw it. Like that joke. <laughs> F-ball. Fuse ball. We played I drove so drunk once with like lots of people in the car. It was like a classic. So, yeah, that White, was Wiping was that? out a bunch of kids. Should have just killed everybody. And I had I had to have one eye closed so I didn't see two of shit. Oof. That's how drunk I was. That's bad. Driving with one yeah. eye and going really fast and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last yeah. thing you should ever see yeah. before you just hit yeah. something. Should have died. And I did spin out. I was on Storrow Drive in Boston. And oh, I man. hit a yeah, nasty, nasty curve and I spun. The whole car is spun many times. See, thank God it was the middle of the night. Nobody else was yeah, coming. Thank God your body should have been thrown out of it. <laughs> yes, they should have exactly. found you in a fucking berry shrub. Yeah, no, I had no problem. <laughs> your dirty I, I, I had no problem that time. But I heard something very frightening uh, uh, this morning. It was um, on the news. They're trying to pass legislation mm -hmm. for if you if you're drunk and cause a fatality. Mm -hmm. Life in prison. Sure. Well, yeah. I th Life in I prison. I think that sounds right. Oh, it, uh, yeah. And then I'm thinking to myself, that sounds right. And then you think, like, could happen know, to me in 10 seconds. Might be an accident, I'm but two it's, moves away it's from not that. your fault. Yeah. Like, you're, you're drinking, but. 
but you know somebody else screws up and mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're just out having a good time and then you're in prison for the rest of your life yes. just think of that like no it's true that good time happen. Prison for the rest of your life. You could be one notch above legal alcohol, and yeah. you get in an accident that wasn't your fault, and somebody dies. Somebody dies. Yep. Prison for life. Yep. What about that's, fucking... That's I live with that kind of fear every time I fuck a boy's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Prison for life. You know, you just learn, hey, it's some, you know... It's safer being in an airplane, all that kind of right. Most um, people slip in a bathtub. And <laughs> Some things are worth the risk, Lou. Exactly. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. Yeah, it, it is time to go. Oh, we left uh, hours ago. He's going over everything. He just left. He probably recorded the promo and uh, is is gone. But uh, again, thank you, Louis. Thank Louis C.K. Always fun to have you in. Thank you. Uh, DVD when? Uh, seven, the 26th of June. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. Famous. Yes. Pick it up. Hysterical. Jimmy Norton, my pal. I have nothing going on. Oh, wait. Maybe some things. There's surprises around the corner. Ooh. I know that. That's all I'll say. Mm. My cock is itching. Oh, I'm at Crackers in Indianapolis for the four people still listening. Oh. This Are weekend. you going to go to Bob Crackers. and Tom's? Yeah, I'll go over Are there. Are they good? Um, I'll be at Crackers in Indianapolis this weekend. Cool. <laughs> and that is the... Uh, I want to see if your ox goes up. Show. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. It's the Opie and Anthony.